What you doing, Doc? You're muted, Kevin. Changing my background screen. Oh, you came out to change your background screen? Yeah, because she had it in. Um, He's my emotional support animal. <laughs> yeah, she what? had it in. Uh, she had, Gail had it in sham mode and I couldn't get to paint. Oh. I wanted to copy her picture and make it my background. Oh. <laughs> we got a team name. Should I call everybody back? Sure. What's that? Oh. Paul oh, said she'd be here tonight. Let's see. Oh my yeah. God. What is it with you? How do you know when I'm opening up a cheese stick? How do you even hear that across the house? No, I snuck in the cheese stick a while ago. I just tried to open it and he comes running in here. <laughs> That's that's very good at hearing. Please. So, uh, Susan. Um, will be fine. You know yes, yes, Vincent. Anything you want to tell me? Yeah. Did you know that we're being recorded. <laughs> the computer says You're we're kidding. We're being recorded. Yeah. Are they all come back? That's what the computer says, anyways. Larry, second cousin. I hope you've been warned about what to expect. It's a little odd. What, who's cousin? What cousin? Larry's second cousin. Larry's second cousin. Oh, yes. Who he hasn't told us the person's name yet, but we're just supposed to call his cousin second cousin. She's in Calgary or Calgary. Her name is Calgary, Canada, right? <laughs> so are we getting more people in our group? Because there's only three of us and one of them is doing the, uh, the next category. Ron said that? Yeah. Well, it, the, the thing said, I think the thing said Deborah was supposed to be in our group. Yeah, Deborah will be came, in your room. She's she just never actually came yet. into the room. Ah, okay. She'll yes. be here in about 20 minutes. And yeah. how do you forget this? You've been playing for like okay. six or seven times. The person who's doing the category gets you trade for me. Uh. I am Carl, going to Carl, Carl for Susan. Susan. That sounds yeah, like a we, good trade. We, we generally only count you as about half a person. Did you, did you hear that? Oh, in terms of the advantage you provide to a team. This is very biblical. This sounds I like mean, a weight loss plan. It's like a seventh round draft pick. Just not <laughs> right. I, how, how are you feeling, Susan? I would say a little bit better than a seventh I'm a round. Little, I'm, I'm fine, except I'm, a, I'm not my 100%. I am. Okay, I've got something to cheer you up. Oh, yeah. Standing, stuff like that. I don't do well with just hanging out for a long period of time, standing up. I've got something, something to cheer you up. A new microphone. How do you like that? You didn't. You didn't. A new microphone. He buys a new microphone every three months and he talks about how amazing it is. And it sounds no different from the other microphones. I think the guy's in he's in a cult. Is he is he one of those those grass is always greener people about microphones? And he's always looking for the better microphone down the road. I don't know what his what? issue is. He's got a weird thing going on with microphones. I'm always looking for that better microphone down the road. <laughs> road. Oh. I'm going to rename this trivia oh. to bad so dad. How many, how many microphones do you have? Good question, Janine. Uh, yeah, I'm curious. Did I use the last 10 years, you bought one every three months. One, two, Where's three. Our dog what the About six or seven I use on the show. Where is she? I don't think the dog approved. <laughs> dog approved. Okay, so let's go with our categories. Deborah here yet? No, she says she'll be over in a few minutes. Teams. All right. <coughs> Kevin, Kevin stole uh, Gail's uh, background. He's my emotional support animal. The big lion is cute. Okay. So someday, Deborah, Carl, Mike Wolf, and Ron. Ron, sorry. We are Blue Alaska. Oh, oh yes. Go. I love it. I Yay. love it. Yay. Oh, I was so cool. They're just so sick and freaking sick of her. So, 
<laughs> celebrity. Well, celebrity. she made it to number two. She is number two. She's full of number two. <laughs> I was going to say, the GOP's chances up there are Palin. Here. Oh, oh, I got that one. Good team. That good took team a second. Name. That, well, that was our backup name, actually. Okay. But... <laughs> Jane, Janine, Rob, and Terry, who are you tonight? Rob? I'm not saying <laughs> aliens planted those classified documents, but <laughs> it was aliens. It was that, I've been waiting to see how long it takes before that could become the act. Yeah, yeah that's, that'll be next week. There's at least 25 oh. excuses. Oh my gosh, I know. Alan, Caspian, Cindy, Jamie, and Peggy, where are you guys tonight? Trump Oops. pays his lawyers with frequent flyer. I'm sorry, you should say liar. I'm typed oh, it wrong. Liar. Frequent liar bile, so that's funny. <laughs> we don't get political over here at all, do we? Here it is. Oh. Right, Frequent liar miles. That's great. Uh, is that George making all that noise, Peggy? No, no I think it's nope. Robin's okay. pup. Uh, I think my dogs, I'm still uh, dog sitting for my niece, and the two big dogs uh, like to rough house around uh, the house. And they're having one of their little rough housey play times. <laughs> Hamilton, would you like to go rough house with her puppy? <laughs> Oh, you got a meow. You got a meow. Yeah. He said, I I'm a cat, not a dog. <laughs> okay. He thinks he's Rob, Robin, Susie, Wendy, and Saunders. Can I say it? Yeah. We are the Dark Brandons. I of, love the Dark Brandons. Of, of Washington. Oh my gosh. Of the Dark Brandons of Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Brandon, you guys got to check him out. I love it. They've been doing some really great memes with him. So funny, you guys got to check out Dark Brandon if you haven't already. Can you put Dark it in the Brandon. chat so I can just copy the patient? And last but not least, Gail, Kevin, Kyle, Larry, and second cousin, and Vincent. And if you if you haven't noticed, look at the cartoon on on uh, Kevin's background. Based on that, we will see you later, alligator. That's very good. <clears throat> okay, put it in the chat so I can copy paste. Please. She did. It's already there. No, I'm talking about uh, Robin. Oh, me. Oh, Robin. Robin, Bob, Susie, Wendy, and Saunders. She's the rock and Robin. I love she it. She knows how much cheese I have. Dark, Dark Brandon's Brandon. of Washington. <laughs> Washington. Yeah, make sure you check that out. Dark Brandon. I love it. I love it whenever I think humans are brilliant when they take something and then they that's really degrading and they just flip it and it's like, ah. oh yeah, okay, we'll be Brandon. Sure, Dark Brandon. No more, <laughs> he says, no more malarkey here. No more malarkey. Malarkey. Oh, malarkey. That would also be a good um team name no more malarkey our team our, our team motto i think we've had a malarkey uh team name somewhere all right so here we are on the first of september of 2022 welcome it's so great to see you guys and our new new guest who's also here visiting from vancouver island now it's so great to have you guys here on the last september 1st of 2022 we will ever have so i'm just letting you know to enjoy it when you have the moment <laughs> We are in game 123, season three. This is our third year, episode 14. Hey, where's, where's, uh, uh, where's Leonard been? And uh, Faith and Romero. I don't think um, Adrian said she had a migraine. So anyway, I shouldn't mention it because you never know. Blue Alaska is going to be in round one. It's led by Carl, who's getting himself in his frontal position. We can see him in the full face which something odd um, versus i'm not saying aliens planted those classified documents but versus trump pays his lawyers with frequent liar miles <laughs> versus dark brandons of washington washington make sure you get that right versus see you later alligator this is going to be the duke off of all duke offs and we're going to see who, who will be the winner tonight 
of September 1st, game 123. <laughs> Can I get a meow out of you? Yeah. No. Meow. Meow. He didn't meow. Anyway. Here we go. So first up is Carl. We're going to have Carl. After Carl is Terry. After Terry is Jamie, all the way from the from Thailand, which is really kind of cool. Versus Robin, who is actually I hope she knows she's doing a category tonight. Okay, she does. Versus Gail, right? No, Kevin. Kevin's got bonus tonight. So no. I'm ready. If you're ready to encounter. This new experience that we will never encounter ever again on a such <laughs> The categories change every week. I don't know what they are. And the team and yet, members tend to change every week as we go. And yet there's a lot of similarity. No, never. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, Carl. Wait, just a reminder to Mike and guys, my team, somebody else will have to keep scores for this round because I won't be there. I, okay. Yeah. We're going to get zero out of zero. No. Oh. Foreign Titles for American Movies, Volume 2. Oh, and who is the music? Yay! Okay, the muted, muted. Oh, there's Karen. Hi, Karen. You come down and get that purple thing if you want. Um, I can gonna be it. here for a while. Let's see. I can do it. If Hi, you Karen. Want. Okay, I'll put you on. Where are you, Vincent? There you are. Okay, yeah. Vincent's going to be the troublemaker and the key muter and That's blocker right. of trolls. Because you know we get so many. Ready to mute. You want me to do it now? Yes, yeah. please. Okie dokie. Okay. Uh, just in case anyone's not familiar, I will be reading the English translation of the foreign version of the title to an American film. And you have to figure out what the actual American film title is. All right, so number one, Night of the Night, an action crime drama from 2008. Number two, The Boy Who Drowned in Chocolate Sauce. Family Fantasy Musical from 1971. And number three, I'll be surprised if anyone gets this, but surprise is always fun. Mr. Cat Poop, comedy, drama, romance from 1997. Number four, Electronic Murderer, action sci-fi from 1984. Number five, if you leave me, I delete you. Drama, romance, sci-fi from 2004. Number six, please do not touch the old women. Comedy, crime, music from 1967 and or 2005. Number seven. Mysterious Murder in Snowy Cream, crime thriller from 1996. Number eight, Action Skyscraper, action movie from 1988. Number nine, Just Send Him to University Unqualified with Rebecca Dornay and Joey Pantaleono a comedy drama from 1983. Number 10. The Urban Neurotic, comedy romance starring Diane Keaton, 1977. And there will be a total of 12 because some of these are a little bit harder than the last time I did this round. Number 11, Rita Hayworth, Key to Escape, Drama from 1994. And finally, number 12 for a best possible score of 10. Interplanetary Unusual Attacking Team, 
action adventure sci-fi comedy from 2014. Okay, yeah. I have a question. <clears throat> yes. Exactly where do these these words come from? It's so it these were American movies that were released in other countries and they changed the name in the other country. And this is translating back into English what they picked for the name. Okay. I, I, I love that he's reading these off to you guys and I'm looking at all your faces and you're mm -hmm. just like very serious, like <laughs> Larry's cousin was going, what the hell? I could see her face going, <laughs> cat poop, what? The Mr. Cat this, poop one is really hard. It's so funny unless, you to, faces. unless you happen to speak Mandarin. Mandarin. I want, I personally want to be the one who dies in chocolate <laughs> Don't give any hints. Oh, Ben just showed up. Where's Ben? I just admitted him. You admit him? I okay, admitted so him. I got to put him somewhere. I will put him there. Wait, one, All right. two, three, four. Here go the rooms. Got it. Great job. This is hilarious. All right, so Benjamin, you are going to go until I'm saying it's not saying it's aliens planted those classified documents, but, and there's my Garen, and she's going to go into, oh, the, you're going in with me in room one. Here we go. Blue Alaska. Got everybody right. <laughs> what Denver's here now? What what's our name? Blue Alaska. Great name, huh? I know <laughs> three of them. I think I can. I got guesses for a couple of them. Yeah, oh, same. I number to... one, I thought was the Dark Knight. Yeah, it was my guess for that. And number two, that. could that be Charlie Wonka. the Chocolate Factory? Number three. Sorry, what uh, was number Arthur? two? Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, okay. Do you know the cat poop one? <laughs> He's trying yeah, to Arthur is too early for that. Um, no, I wrote down Notting Hill because that's the only comedy drama romance I could think of, but I don't even know if it was that year. I Notting try. Hill and Love Actually, but I don't know when they came out. For Mr. Cat Poop? Well, no, I was just looking at 1997 comedy drama Roman. Oh, okay. Mr. Cat Poop. Could it be? Um... Number five is that, what was that Jim Carrey one where they delete the memories after you go to a place that deletes your memories after a bad breakup? Is that the sunshine of the mind yeah. thing? Yeah, internal sunshine. Oh, the spotless, of the, uh, what was it? Internal, internal sunshine of the spot, spotless that could... mind. I didn't see that one. I, yeah, I think it is a deleter. Hi, Deborah. Could try it. <laughs> Deborah, you should be able to see the questions because you were. Yeah, no, I see them. I just here, don't know here. the answers. <laughs> That's a good idea to sign in early and then just go away. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure Zoom was working. Then, then I you would... get into a team and everything. Yeah. Um, Do not touch the old one. Number women. eight, I think, is Die Hard. Please do not touch the old women. Uh, is it that or is it, uh, what was the one, The Towering Inferno? That was, that's Towering early. Inferno was earlier, wasn't oh, it? Oh, that's true. Yeah, Number that was eight, I think it's Die Hard. That sounds, like, that sounds like Die Hard, yeah. Die Hard, yeah. I actually did see that movie. And number Mysterious. nine is uh, a Tom Cruise movie, Risky Business. Oh, oh. Uh, with Rebecca De Mornay. Yep. Who is Joey Pantololala? Joey Pants. He was in The Matrix. He was in Bound. He was. Uh, <clears throat> he's in a lot of stuff. You'd know him. Okay, so I believe number. 11 seven is, is seven Fargo. I don't know what year Fargo came out. 
But is that Fargo? That's about the right time frame, I think. Okie dokie. Yeah. And then um, number six, I guessed Valley of the Dolls, but I really don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, there's been two versions of it. That's why I guessed it, but I yeah. really Oh, don't no, know. it's the producers. Okay, producers, thank you. And because... then number 10, is that looking for Mr. Goodbar? Mm. Not Diane, Diane Keaton. I or was thinking that, that was Annie the... Hall. Annie Hall. Okay, Annie mm -hmm. Hall, great. And 1977. number 11 is Shawshank, yeah. Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, because the original title of the short story was something to Sha Rita Hayworth something, yeah. Rita Hayworth. Rita Hayworth. Because Redemption. his tunnel is hidden behind a Rita Hayworth poster. Don't tell if uh, she hasn't seen it. I saw it. I saw it. Spoiler alert for a 1994, nearly 30 year old movie. I don't. I don't think. I managed. <laughs> I managed. I don't remember it was behind her poster. I managed to. Um, I, I hadn't seen. Uh, I didn't see Casablanca until uh, mid about 2004 and i hadn't seen uh what's the orson wells one um oh rosebud what's the orson wells film rosebud. citizen yeah. kane citizen kane. citizen kane is amazing i hadn't seen that till five years ago and i had managed until five years ago to avoid learning what rosebud was and my <laughs> friend said it and i said michael i have not seen citizen kane <laughs> you only have Again, I, I think, there, I think the, there's a 50 year uh, statute of limitations that's what he's, he said movie. something like that yeah, yeah. At the end of planet of the apes oh yeah that's another one 12 i think guardians of the galaxy about sure. the right okay it's about the right time yeah yeah well good can you read the answers please i need to get the cast okay so far number one the dark knight Two, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Nothing for three and four yet. Five, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Six, The Producers. Seven, Fargo. Eight, Die Hard. Nine, Risky Business. Ten, Annie Hall. Eleven, The Shawshank Redemption. And twelve, Guardians of the Galaxy. Right. So that leaves us with Mr. Cat Poop at number three, an electronic murderer. That's number four. <laughs> I'm glad we're recording. Hey, was that movie, um, what do you call it? Uh, was Lemony Snicket's out in that year, 97? I'm just trying to think of movies that were in that year, but. But it's like a comedy drama. Not a drama, not a romance. Romance. That's not a romance. I was thinking for electronic murder, either Total Recall or, um, oh God, what's the one with Harrison Ford with the robots? They just did a remake of it. Blade or, Runner? Blade Runner? Blade, or, I, Robot? Or Electronic Murder, I was thinking of Blade Runner. 84. 84 is a fallback if you can't think of anything better. He's not really electronic, but it is sci fi, so it could be. It could have Yeah. Really well, ex there. Except what's her face was an electronic. She was a robot a murderer. You know. Um, Sarah Palin? Uh, yeah. So that leaves us with everyone's favorite, Mr. Cat Poop. Yeah, I just for some reason I'm thinking of Hugh Grant, but to be honest, I have no idea when Notting Notting Hill was around the late nineties. Notting Hill was, I think, later than that. It was in the late nineties, but it wasn't really a well, comedy, drama, romance. Okay. I, I got no idea. <laughs> it couldn't be Mrs. Doubtfire, could it? 97? Hmm. Yeah, why not? Sure, why well, not? Well, it's not a Mrs., though. Yeah, this is Mr. It wasn't Cat really Poop. a romance, Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> it was a it romance. Was. It was. Mr. Oh, yeah. How about Mr. Mr. Mom? Mr. Mom? Yeah, yeah, with uh, really... uh, with uh, Keaton, Michael Keaton, and... I can't remember her name now. Perry Gar, I guess. It's around that time. Okay, you want to put that? I don't know how mom translates into Mandarin to come back as cat poop, but... Uh... <laughs> That's what makes me suspicious. Because mom... 
Well, I'm going with Mr. Captain. Mom until I hear other guesses, but I'll be happy to hear it. I'll take. Can we have if Blade Runner for number four? Yeah. Although Blade Runner, Blade Runner was, I think, was earlier than 1984. But again, that's I don't have anything better. So that's what I'm what trying to remember. What about the Terminator? Was any of the Terminator movies then? Ooh, that's, I think that's another possibility. That yeah. might be why he didn't give us a, an actor's. Name. I would say the Terminator. Yeah, that's a better guess. Terminator. Okay. What was that? The first Terminator? Because there were yeah. several. Well, I think. Well, I think, I think the that, timing's think, yeah. The yeah. timing's right because I I go based on 1981. That's when I moved to the United States. So it's did I see it here or did I see it in Canada? <laughs> Lower Canada. Yeah. So is number three, Mister Mom? That's what I'm guessing. What yeah, was the I, mean, I don't. Line to... I don't think that that's it. But I don't have anything better. So yeah, yeah. What's the name of the sunshine? What was the one? Eternal, Eternal sunshine, sunshine of the Spotless Mind. A title that was almost as long as the movie. <laughs> Again, he's got twelve. So then we have to get ten. We only need to get ten, right? All right. Can we say him one more time, please? Do you want just the answers? Yes. Okay. One is The Dark Knight. Two is Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Three is Mr. Mom, until we hear otherwise. Four is The Terminator. Five is The Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Six is The Producers. Seven is Fargo. Eight, Die Hard. Nine, Risky Business. Ten, Annie Hall. 11, Shawshank Redemption, and 12 is Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, and everybody agrees about Fargo because I was just guessing. Of course, I don't know. Sounds Fargo. good. Timing's about right. I so actually saw that movie. Well, you know, that could, that, that could definitely be it. It was very depressing. I didn't like it at all. I won't watch it again. It's too violent for me. Violent and depressing and I'm sorry. And cold. It was a good movie, don't you know? <laughs> yeah. It was cool, but it was a they had a female character who was pregnant as the main, yeah. you know. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. But your whole time you're going, oh my god. <laughs> she got yeah, a baby. I, think I know which which one you're talking about. <laughs> it was a, it was well cast. The people yes. were no, the acting, acting was really, really good. Yeah, the, the people the fit the roles. Was good. The TV show is even better, though, I think, than, this, than the movie. Really? really? The is TV show is really good. Thing? Yeah, it was really good. Is it her solving crimes all the time? It's four seasons no, it's, of kind of related stuff. They're all, each each season is like, it's like an anthology almost. Each yeah. season is a different story. But they kind does of tie together. Yeah, she does does ever she ever have, have her the baby? whole time, or does she ever have the baby? <laughs> she's not in the series at all. Yeah, she's not in the TV series. Is it all taking place in Fargo? No. Well, no. what's the point? Is it ever summer? So the original movie no. didn't really take place <laughs> in Fargo. That was probably filmed in Canada. That's probably true. <laughs> oh, here's her kitty. Time for a kitty break. Oh, mm -hmm. hi, kitty. How about a cheese stick for the kitty? <laughs> she looks like it looks very much like the cat we just lost. No, she's twenty years old. Yeah, ours it's was very 16. Healthy. Ours was 16 and not quite that healthy at the end. Oh, I'm sorry, Ron. No. 16's good though. Yeah. We seem to do really well. 16 years is about normal for most of our cats, which is why the guy on my lap here, 14 and a half and diabetic. So mm. watch you're talking about him in front of him. He's mortal. <laughs> cover, I'll cover his ears. So you want to hear something <laughs> weird? Okay. Oh, it's gone now. But Carl started showing, posting pictures on Facebook and telling this, us how his cat would crawl under the little piece of carpet by the door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And oh my gosh, I thought that was so funny. We talked about it. I laughed. This cat I've had for three years, four years, had never done that. After that, the cat started going under its heating pad. It's just a coincidence, but it's one of those weird, funny coincidences. <laughs> we have an area rug in our TV room. And yesterday we came home and our third cat was 
sitting underneath the thing with the head just sticking out, <laughs> looking out. <laughs> what is it? What, what is it? They like to be in things. They're cats. You can't explain anything. But it had never that's done good. it before. And I've never had a cat that's done that. But anyway, that was pretty funny. Yeah. One of, one of ours that my son has like an old sleeping bag that he uses like when he's watching TV and stuff. And this one cat will like go inside of that or or even like some clothing on the bed. They'll get in. They don't go yeah. under the rug as far as I know. But They do like to go into in enclosed spaces. I mean, the, the, the cat that I was talking about earlier, if we had a shoe box sitting out, he oh, would yeah. be in it or any kind oh, of yeah, box. box. Of course, yeah. well, that makes sense. Yeah, what I, I love mean, is the, when the box is a little bit too small. Yes. Have you ever seen where people have like a, a square glass or, or plexiglass container that the cat has gotten into yeah. and yeah. you take, picture the cat? <laughs> like a cat pudding or something. <laughs> That's right. A trifle there. Yeah, cat trifle. <laughs> <laughs> I love the ones too where the people like make little squares on the ground with like tape or paint or something and the cats will go sit in them. No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna go? Yeah. Oh, have fun. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Susan says kiss, bye. Kiss, give her, give mom a kiss. <laughs> What's your hat say, Karen? Oh, you're on your on mute right now. I was seeing if it had the whole name or just the first name. It's Manuka. Ah, okay. And yeah, that is some kind of honey or something, right? Yeah. Well, it's a place in New Zealand, but it's also a very um, dear honey. Honey is particularly dear anyway, but this is particularly prized. Dear as an expensive. Yes. Yeah. How you guys That's doing? Right. What do you got left? Oh, we're done. We're, we're done. done. We're yeah. talking all about right. Karen's hat. We got we're all 13 cats. of them. We're talking and cats. cats and we're talking hats. About cats and hats. Right. Cat and mats. Cats and hats. And yeah. Yeah. Hats. hats will show up very soon. And mats. Well, seems like you got it down pat. Oh. <laughs> and that's that. Oh, you know, that. God, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't we get a show on Netflix just with us playing trivia each week? Why? Why? I think we're Why? hilarious. We're pretty funny. I think you guys are hilarious. <laughs> and I mean, I just organize the hilarity. It's organized hilarity. You're the Ed Sullivan of yeah, it there all. There you That's go. Me. The Ed Sullivan of it. Oh, or the Ed Epic the... Man, at least. Oh, Deborah, I just saw on Facebook. Remember Drew? They ran the um, planetarium over at Hartnell? Yeah. Andrew? He just got engaged. Oh, Aww. God. he, he was away, always though, right? looking for a girlfriend that he could love. He was just all, he'd be like, oh, I hope I can find somebody. And he, oh, hey, whoever he, he is. Great. Yes. He's sweetheart. He used to run the planetarium at Hartnell for just a very, like two years. And the skeptics used to go hang out there to the shows. Yeah. He was really, really great. Nice yes, guy. Moved up to him. Washington. Washington. For all their promotions and stuff. So it's it's all over the internet. Yeah, great pictures. Yeah, I've been doing it since like '84. Yeah. I used to sneak them into concerts and stuff like that. And now I get hey, permission Susan. sometimes. Hey, Susan. Yeah. Don't forget that recording's in progress. You're kidding. I thought I'd remind you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that never gets old, Vincent. It never gets old. Oh, cool. Well, Not for me. Oh, I love it. Thanks. Yeah. I, I like corny jokes. Every Thursday, I will keep doing that then. Thank if you. Tara, Tara is hey, Vincent, here. you know, C-SPAN, they have recordings in Congress. I think, I think they should uh, hire him just to announce it. <laughs> okay. That would be unique. Okay. I love the way Rob did that. Okay. <laughs> I know what he's thinking. Get on with all it. Right. I'm kidding. He's on the East Coast. We got, we, you know, we'd be up all night. Yeah. That's okay. You know, I don't Vincent, care. I know. Vincent, Vincent, some, it's fault being on the East Coast. No. Vincent, something, something cannot get old, but it could still oh. die. <laughs> oh. oh. And, and be very smelly. Oh. <laughs> oh. That stinks. Oh. Uh, okay. Here's Paula. <laughs> She'll be here at eight. Carl, what are the answers? 
All right. So <laughs> the question is, how generous should I be for number one? Very. The answer is the dark night. Generous. Oh. But we got it. We wrote that. Uh, what, what's some people have that? the dark night rises. Yep. <laughs> just, and I, I'm wondering how strict I should be. <laughs> is there more than one? Isn't that a different I movie? I thought it was a dark it is, it is, yeah, it is a, it is a follow-up movie. Okay, it's so no, is it the wrong year? Proper, year? The proper so. answer is The Dark Knight. Was it in 2008? Uh, that's that's a good point. That's what I, I said. did put the year, so only The Dark Knight oh, wow. is actually uh, yeah. And uh, for number right two, uh, some people uh, got the name of the book and the name of the movie crossed. The name of the movie is Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Oh. What did they say? Charlie. Some people said Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. No, Why Wonka. did I listen to you people? <laughs> well, that's well, Willy we, Wonka. Do we, we have a year on that one? Uh, yeah. It is called yeah. Willy Wonka. Every, every single movie had a year. Yeah, uh, we didn't have the no year Charlie in our, in our no, list, so. There is no Charlie Wonka. I think you should give it to him if they said Charlie. No, there's no movie called Charlie in the Chocolate We said Willy Wonka, but. Oh, and the it's chocolate. Willy Wonka factor, yeah. the chocolate factor. I mean, I, that's I, that's what yeah. I meant. Only the book. I know it's Willy Wonka and the chocolate. All right. <clears throat> so number three. Hey, what uh, was that? All right. In in connection with. Are you going to take the other the other title? No. Charlie Willy and Wonka the chocolate, chocolate factory. factory. Charlie and the chocolate factory is a is a film. But not from nineteen seventy one. Donnie Depp. Uh, it's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Not, yeah, in, I had, uh, if, not in 1971. If we knew the year, I would have said it was the other one. I didn't, really, I didn't know what the year was. Oh, oh wow. I, think it was, the year, man. I want to know about Mr. Cat Poop. Please hurry. <laughs> Mr. Cat Poop is as good as it gets. Apparently, oh. Cat Poop oh, that's what I found a lot like the Chinese I word totally for forgot. Cat Poop. No yeah, way. Yeah, that's what I thought. Why? Why is it that's the one with Jack Nicholson and, and yes. Helen Hunt. Helen yeah, right. so apparently, no. the character he plays, his name is Melvin, and apparently in Cantonese, Melvin sounds a lot like the word for cat poop. Oh my god! That's what I thought. Well, that's, that's why I said sure. that one's almost impossible for anyone. That is to really hard. Oh I god. guessed it, but yeah, how did I, you guess I, that, Terry? I saw you guess. Well, it, I thought it was wrong because I remembered it's not a cat; it's a dog. But that's what I guess. She would have gotten it right for the wrong reason, but all that would have mattered was the point. Yeah. <laughs> We like put when Harry met out. Sally. Okay. We had Mr. Mom. I was actually huh? just when Harry met Sally. Oh, wow. That's hard. Our field. No. no like From 1984, Electronic no. Murder is the Terminator in Poland. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 We got that one right. So how does it get Mr. So, so number three would have been Mr. Melvin. Right, what, saying, what they would have thought it was called the mistranslation. for it to make sense. Ask the Chinese, Susan. Yeah. <sighs> Number five. I saw quite a few people <laughs> eventually <laughs> figure this one out. Eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. Yay! Yay. Oh. Point. Uh, Your team got I it right. I don't know if I saw anyone get number six right, but I didn't necessarily catch every team doing it. The producers. Your yes. team got it. Oh. Wow. The idea of they're 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 soliciting money from all these older women, you, but they're supposed to stay uh, hands off. I've not seen it. I gotta see this movie. We thought Great it was more. Movie. It's a good movie. Oh, you enjoy it. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't remember anything about the implication of hands off. We thought that we oh. would have oh. got that right. We changed our answer. So oh. hard. Oh. Did Margo, Emory, yeah. Emory do the producers? Margo. Margo. Oh, Emory. 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 Oh, yeah. Up there in the North Where's Dakota. Uh, sorry, number seven was sorry. Fargo. Fargo. Yeah, okay, good. Fargo. I can't oh, imagine oh, them transferring oh, Fargo into China. Oh. Well, what started. do you think the reference to snowy cream is? Oh, snow? well, no. snow, but snowy cream. We put cream. Cream. A lot of the Chinese cream. titles don't make a whole lot of sense. We like the way came out not again. Ask the Chinese film industry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> number eight. In is Die Hard in Norway. Yes. Yay. We got number nine. I think a lot of people found my my helpful hints of listing a couple of supporting act characters helpful. That was Risky Business in China. Yeah. 
is Annie Hall in Germany. Yay. Uh, yeah. Annie Hall. Number 11, as many people figured out, is the Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. That's what they called it in Finland. Good job, Jane. That was the name of the original story was Rita yes. Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption, which was in the same book as the the stand, not the stand, stand by me. Oh. And finally, that, which was the body. The interplanetary the body, yeah. unusual attacking team is better known as the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. 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 I had to get I in the there somehow. I, would have thought. I finally knew <laughs> yeah. one. That's... <laughs> I'm not in last place for the first time. <laughs> we saw some time. And okay. as always, there is a, a Word document copy of the round available in the chat for anyone who wants to download it. Good job. That was fun. All right. So let's do our scores. So leading off, see you later, alligator. Seven. Dark Brandons of Washington. Ten. Ten. Whoa. Cool. Trump pays his lawyers with frequent frequent liar miles. Nine. Eight. Okay, I'm not saying aliens planted those classified documents, but six. What? Damn. Damn! Now we don't get that extra player. Blue Alaska. Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> Earned it up for eleven. Very good, teams. That we have an average. Oh, I've got to get that damn average. How do I do that damn? Average? And that's without Carl. I was there. Not that I helped, but I was there. Oops. Eight point four. Okay, oh, eight point four on average. All righty, Rue. Well done, team. Harry. Yeah. You're up. Okay. This is the okay. The title is children's television programs airing in the 50s and 60s. Now, the program may have aired beginning sooner, but it aired originally in some portion of either the 50s or 60s. It also could have aired later, but it it actually, okay, if that makes Harry, sense. I have a question. Yes. Please spell aired. A I R E D. Great. So I will be thinking of different shows now. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah. To air, to air is human. To air, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Question one. Okay. Hey, just this... a sec. I'm going to mute everybody. Just a sec. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me unmute me. Okay. Question number one. This American television show used puppets and was entirely ad-libbed. A comedian starred interacting with two puppets, sometimes other puppets. The show is named after the comedian and two main puppets. The answer is not Punch and Judy. Oh, and these 10 questions, the, the shows, the, the first airing of the show, like these are in order, if that makes sense. So we're going in order like of when they first aired. Question two, billed as the nursery school of the air, this half hour TV show airing on NBC from 1952 to 1956 was presented from a child's point of view. Each program began with Miss Francis ringing a handheld school bell. A magazine article reported low angled cameras see everything at Lilliputian eye level. Stories and activities are paced at the slow rate, just right for small ears and hands. Number three. Almost added something. Okay. This television show for preschoolers was both franchised and syndicated. In America, each show opened with a greeting from the hostess and the Pledge of Allegiance. Education was the focus along with moral lessons. At the end of the broadcast, I kept waiting for her to see me in her magic mirror. Number four. 
this series' first three seasons featured characters Jeff Miller, his mother Ellen, his grandfather, and a dog living on a farm. This animated series fe featured three segments. The first segment starred two bears, the second a cat and two mice, and the third a blue dog. First aired September 29, 1958. Number six, the central characters of this clay animated series were created by Art Clokey, Ruth Clokey, and Dick Sutcliffe, was produced first by the United Lutheran Church of America, was aimed at a youth audience, and generally dealt with issues such as respect for authority, faith in God, sharing, and prejudice. Each 15 minute episode features the adventures of a boy and his talking pet. First aired February 25th, 1961. Number seven. This was an animated sitcom produced by Hanna Barbera Productions and was originally broadcast in prime time. It was created as a parody of the Phil Silver show with Arnold Stang imitating Sergeant Bilko's voice. The main character and gang were also inspired by the East Side Kids, roguish, roguish street smart characters from a series of 1940s B movies. First air date, September 27th, 1961. Number eight, this, American program is about Porter Ricks, chief warden at Coral Key Park and Marine Reserve. His two sons, Sandy and Bud and their pet, first aired September 19th, 1964. Number nine, children stood on a giant game board. A button was pressed that stopped a set of flashing lights with the numbers one through four and the children advanced on the game board. The children then answered a question or performed a stunt, earning money that could be traded for items from the top value stamp catalog. Most of the spaces on the game board were references to popular game board, board games by the show's sponsor, Milton Bradley Company. This show aired on ABC from 64 to 1965. I was given the board game that was named for this show. Number 10, I'm going for the record of the longest questions. Okay. Uh, this American family drama series aired on CBS between 1966 and 69, starred Marshall Thompson as Dr. Marsh Tracy, a veterinarian at the fictional Wameru Study Center for Animal Behavior in East Africa. Clarence the Lion and Judy the Chimpanzee were also popular characters. And the bonus, name, I don't know why it cracks me up. Name the segment of the show in the answer to number five that starred two mice who found new ways to outwit the cat. So what was that segment called? That's it. Good luck. <laughs> oh God, Terry. I sure hope some people on my team are like on it. Cause... You got, you got this. They got it, I hope. All right, send us to our rooms. Uh, do I have power? Somebody else. Somebody no, you have it in. now. Oh. Sorry. I'm usually on it. Okay, I'm on two. I'm on my phone now. So I don't know how to send people from my phone. Oh, thank you, Carl. So Terry. Oh, yeah. You're normally in two, so I'm putting you back. Yes, thank so, you so much. You should much. be able to go wherever you want now. Right here. Hello, team.
Hello, team. Hello. All these are before I was born, so I have no idea. <laughs> that doesn't count. Now, the one where she said, I remember looking at her, she's looking through the thing to see. I thought that was Rampa Room, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah that's number three. Two. Number three. Number three or number two? The three. one that she said that three. she remembers. No. When she was preschoolers. When number, three. preschoolers. number three is where she was looking through her magic mirror. Yeah, I and think that, that was Rampa Room. Romper room? Romper. Yeah. Oh, I thought number two was romper room. That uh, was down at the children's level. Hmm. Well, I, I'll tell you the reason I think it's number three is because I also kept waiting for her to see me <laughs> in her mirror. And it was uh, franchised and syndicated. Um, that's That's just what I think. I don't remember. Okay. Well, I'm no, it. I'm no expert. I would go with you over me. Is four Lassie? Yes, number four is Lassie. But so. Lassie had Timmy in the well. Yes. <laughs> so who's Jeff Miller? Well, I think there was, I think there were a, a couple of families. I'm not sure, but. You you could mm. be right. You could be right that it was. Yeah, I just a, remember. Oh. So, Lassie was on while we were milking, and my sister was little, and she stayed in the house and watched Lassie. But she would come running out to the barn, crying, saying, "Lassie's going to die. Lassie's going to die." And she never saw the ending where Lassie didn't die. <laughs> and we was did this every night. Was there Everyone. another series with a dog? So she was poor. Your sister was probably, you know, had tra trauma. She had. She was totally traumatized. But next week, the dog was alive again. So how would happen? Right, we kept telling her that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could be right. It could be a different show, but I thought it was classy. I don't think Terry would use the word Timmy. Right. I you you're not going to use the most prominent characters because that gives it away. Okay. So, I, I, never I, I, I don't know. It could be the, something I else. Had stores, so I never saw it. And number five, I was hoping it would be not animated because okay. I want to see two bears and a top, cat and a mouse. Top cat. Top, top, top. No, 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 not number five. What number five? Number seven. Number seven is Top Cat. Okay. I did not know number seven, but I do remember that show, Top Cat, but I don't, I don't that's know. That's what we had. One of the, that's what we had some characters from. Uh, Kevin, oh, the, the kid, yeah, the cat yeah. round. Remember the other day? Yep. Kevin had and a blue dog. I am Children not. On I don't a know. Giant I... Game board. I do know a couple of the other answers. Oh, what do you got? Uh, number eight, I believe, is Flipper. Yep. They called him Flipper. 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 Yep. And number nine, I believe, is Doctari. What? What? What is that? How do you no, spell wait. That? no, wait, not number nine, number 10. Wait, let me look at the list here. I had written down number nine, but your list looks That's different. The, the, one, the one about, no, not number nine. The one about the Af the family in Africa. Where is that? Oh, that's right? uh, East Africa, 10. 10. Okay. I, okay. I believe, uh, I remember the show Doctari when I was a child. Ooh, well, it's an African name. I like that. How do you spell How it? How do you spell it? That, that, that sounds familiar. Susan. Huh? Susan. Yes. Uh, Kevin needs to get into room five. Where is he? Oh, okay. He's in the. Okay. Got okay. it. Okay. Thanks. D A K T A R I. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I remember watching that. Although I never I, heard of it, I wouldn't have hooked it up with the names they gave. But that's definitely Clarence, in Africa. Clarence the Lion, and I apologize if I'm remembering incorrectly and putting different TV shows with different memories. But that's the way I remember it no, because I, I did used to watch it. Well, I haven't seen it. Well, I mean, other than Lassie, because I saw that in reruns. But other than that, I don't know any of these. I'm still waiting for everybody to apologize to me for Willy Wonka <laughs> and the Chocolate Factory. No, it wasn't well, Willy Wonka. They got a ride in our We team. really yeah. needed the year. Had we had the year, I yeah. would have said something, unfortunately. But we didn't have the year because the first one was, the first movie was, right, was Willy Wonka. But mm. yeah.
Charlie nine and the Chocolate Factory was much later. Nine uh, for nine number times one, like, I hmm. have a guess for number one. Hmm. Um, I do not know because it was before my time, but I I have a guess of Howdy Doody. So, but the problem yeah. is the show's named after the comedian and two main puppets. So how does that work? Howdy out? and Doody? Oh, two puppets. See, I don't know. Maybe this is wrong. I guess I'm wrong. Mark. Because that was before my time. Yeah, Howdy Doody. And she did the say that, that the, the first one, they go in order. So Howdy Doody would make sense. Yeah, it but it's, the show is named after the comedian and two main puppets. Three names. It's not Howdy Doody. Howdy yeah, Howdy Doody time. You're right. You're right. Howdy Doody time. Yeah, that's no. so there was howdy and duty and time. <laughs> no. no, no, yeah, so it must be well, unless show. some characters shared the same name. How about Captain Kangaroo? I remember that show, wasn't that? That's, 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 that's what I wrote, but that's a, also doesn't fit the, the that, I, well, I don't know where it would fit, but I do yeah, remember that. I watched that when I was a kid. That was the 60s. I yeah. did too. I used to watch that. We should see if that plugs in somewhere. It would be Mix. kind of in the later, wouldn't it? Like um, mm. seven. Or These eight? are in order, I think, right? Yeah, uh, she said in order. So, does any? Do we have number five? The the, the, the one with the bears is is Yogi Bear. Uh, oh, Tom and Jerry weren't the, weren't they the dog? No, that's not. No, him. so I don't I don't even remember the other segments, and I'm not sure what the whole show was called. Yeah. Well, yeah, wasn't Yogi Bear its own show though? It I was, thought it yeah. was. Yeah, I thought so too. I, did, was, I remember Yogi, it being Yogi Bear and Boo Boo. Was there another show with two bears? No, uh, I I can't think of anything. I have no idea. And, and so the, the 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 one of the bonuses is what's the name of the one with the cat and the two mice? All right. So was Top Cat? It, were you saying Top Cat had two mice? No, that was number seven. Oh. I'm. I'm okay, Mark's also. Right here. Mark. I'm also upset that we didn't get the Terminator. We should have came up with that yeah, answer instead of Robocop and Mark Total Recall. Number one, he number might one. got it. Hold it. Yeah, I kicked myself as soon as he said that because I knew the year of Terminator came out too. Ugh. It's one of the few I do remember the year name, the year number for the. Uh, so, oh, two mice. So it's not Tom and Jerry then. Yeah, I mean because if there was ever another mouse, didn't uh, Jerry ever have? Mark like says a... number one could be Super Cell Show. Soupy. Soupy sales. What yeah, you but you, did you read the whole thing, Mark? Hi, Mark. Named after the comedian oh, no, and two and two or it main could be puppets. Whoever was doing Be Beanie and Cecil. And he also mentions Beanie and Cecil. Who I've that? never heard of that. I never heard of that. Beanie could, and... could... Never heard of Beanie and Cecil. <laughs> Get out of here. How, how about Soupy Sales Show? I remember that. It was old, wasn't it? Comedian and two main puppets. Could he? Ha could he have had yeah, two puppets? White Fang and Black Tooth. Black, <laughs> White Fang and Black Tooth were the puppets. He says, and they went. Oh. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just repeating, Mark. But it's yeah, the problem though is the show is named after them, so it doesn't fit the the right. question. It has to probably be something like <sighs> name, name, and name. Oh, what about the woman who had uh, the lamb? Yes, lamb chops. Sure, lamb chop. Lamb chop. And, lamb chop oh, and yeah. what was the name of that show? Shirley some McLean. No, oh, was it Shirley? Oh. <laughs> lamb chop. <laughs> Lamb Chop and yeah, yeah. Lamb Chop, remember Lamb Chop and but uh, that was later. Sh Sherry Lewis, he said. It yes, Sherry Lewis. Lewis. Sherry Lewis. It must be called Sherry Lewis and Lamb Chop and. He says it was called the Sherry Lewis Show. Yeah, well, it, it says it was named after the comedian and two main puppets. Lamb, Lamb Chop and the horse was named. Charlie Horse. It says, so the answer we're trying to get is the show is named after the comedian and two main puppets. And it was lot, it was entirely ad libbed. I mean, that fits the time frame, and there was two main puppets, but. 
Ask, ask Mark if he knows the Yogi the Yogi Bear one. He's already gone. Oh. You have a limited time with Mark's attention span. Terrible. So I ask him the most. You, you need to you need to sit him down in a chair next to you. No, he won't do it. I have Hamilton. Ham. Does Hamilton know? Does anyone know number six? This 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 freaky religious one with the Lutheran Church. Nope. I'll bet I've heard of this one. This is probably talked about in like atheist circles about how bad this was, but it's I, I remember something like that with the clay animation thing. Maybe so, maybe okay. my husband knows. I ask, ask away. What year was it first aired in nineteen sixty one? Oh, we would have been pretty old by then. Yeah, I, I think I remember seeing little clips of this with the you boy. You remember the... other old shows that maybe we could fit into one of these spots, like Captain Kangaroo. Um, Captain oh, we, st Kangaroo. we still need one. We still need one for two with kids. This is hard, Terry. Is it? Uh, no, no, see, that's good. To... I like. It. To... Okay, we need like one and two. Yeah, the questions are too long. I can't fit them all on the screen at the same time. So, so, uh, yeah, so, I told I. So should we put Captain Kangaroo for number two? Uh, I don't think that's no, right. No, that wasn't it. Because it was not low angle camera. See everything. Miss Francis ringing a handheld school bell and a low angled camera. No, because Captain Kangaroo. Captain Kangaroo is children's TV shows from the 50s. Pledge of Allegiance. So. That was Ron Perum. I don't remember that. I just remember her looking through the magic mirror. I didn't watch it enough to get really upset. I thought she probably was looking for me when I wasn't there. So. I I waited always, and she never saw Jane. Believe it or not. <laughs> How could you not see Jane? Tukli, Fran, and Olive. Tukli, Fran, and a uh, number. Oh, Olive. Tukli, that's Fran. it. That's it. My Very husband good. got it. Thank Very you, good. John. Which one? Number one? Yeah, Cookley, Fran, it? and Ollie. Cookley? How do you spell it? Was it a K? I keep naming them. Just... Yeah, come on, John. There we go. Now we got a comedian. I, I have heard of that. That's it. That's yeah. right. I remember that. Stan uh. Borison? Stan Borison, anyone? What? Well, wait, what was what? What's the full Fran, title for F -R -A -N. one? F-R-A-N. Sam Morrison is not Frank Fran, as in Francis. And Ollie. Oh, okay. What else? Seattle's not gonna Yeah, and Ollie. Cookie, Cookley, Fran, and Ollie. Yeah. Um so they need a better name for their show. Well, what was the one that we were trying to fit into that spot? Uh, Sherry Lewis and Lamb Chop. Lamb Chop. Could that be one of these others? What Number about two? Howdy Doody was the only other one that John remembered. And that's old. That couldn't be two. Miss Francis ringing a handheld school bell. I think we have a better shot of getting the later ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't see it's fitting any of these others. Okay, what's the one with the freaking Yogi Bear, etc.? Uh, hey, Doogie. Hey, Yogi. Well, do we think that is Yogi Bear, or do we think that's a totally separate show? Was Yogi Bear part of a larger show? I it's don't know. Starting to, it's starting to come back to me that it was a segment in a larger show, but I have no idea what the show is. And that stars two bears, Yogi Bear and. And then boo -boo. Animated. and boo -boo. boo boo, yes. But I I don't know what the main overall show would. Was that was that the one with Dudley Do Right also? Oh, I love Dudley Do Right. Oh my else, gosh! That's and then they else. had the. I think that's another uh, show. What was his name? They. Morticia, not Morticia. Uh, no, that was a different show then. That wasn't that one. That the was one where one. he put the where he would Rocky the Flying Squirrel. Yeah, Winkle. Rocky the Flying Squirrel oh, was on Bullwinkle. Bullwinkle. Uh, Could that be one of these? No. <sighs> well, I don't know. We don't have a name, so put the Yogi Bear show just in case. But that's probably not right. 
So I think that was the primary segment. Are you typing, Ben? Uh, in a second. A clay animated series. <sighs> yeah, I'm never going to get that one. I remember seeing the clips and I don't remember. Yogi Bear Show. There you go. Uh, do we don't have one from Carl, uh, Carl might know number six because uh, he's a he's a Lutheran. Mm. Well, that's, was anyway. That's why I was asking my husband. He was Lutheran. Yes, he he's Lutheran. But did you ask him about yeah. six? He doesn't remember. Number nine. Uh, that looks I'll like. I just uh, ask him if he knows a clay clay mate clay nation series. Number nine looks like a very a uh, early Oops. version of a uh, Squid Game. <laughs> nice. There's a board game name for the show. We uh, have 48 seconds. All right. So the game of life. That's what I was wondering. No. Huh. All right. Well, put that down. Okay. What did we get for two or one or three? I mean, one, one is Kukla Friend and Ollie, three is Romper Room. Two, yep, two, three is two we don't have and six we don't have anything. What's three? Oh, three. Oh, we move. Proper room. Sorry. We don't have anything. For what if we put three. romper room for two also? Sure, why not? We don't have anything else. Please do that. Six seconds. Good luck. Good job, team. Still oh, break time. I got to we're recording. I think we're Imagine being that. recorded. Imagine that, Vincent. Okay, you guys ready? Uh, yeah. We're ready. Was it? Okay, so the first one, uh, the puppet show with a comedian that was entirely ad-libbed was Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Yay! Yay! Yay. 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 Uh, this was actually, this was fun to watch you guys. Number two was a little bit obscure with Miss Francis and the bell, and it is very old. So it's called Ding Dong School. Hey, we have fun. that as a category. Didn't we have that as a question yeah, yeah. once before? I, yeah. I, I thought we did. Oh, maybe so. I, mean, I don't I remember. Know. I only remember it now. That, Thank that's you, Gail. Gail's category. I look back at my notes. Gail's category in July. Oh, mm. that oh. makes sense. Gail had the answer right now. I don't think Good Ding job. Dong School was in there, was it? I don't remember. Good yeah, your first question. Because it was a uh, uh, um, chronological. I can't believe began. people are keeping track of this, like like maybe awesome. the National Archive. Well, I didn't we have to I give, the, have the have to give your guys back. paperwork over later. <laughs> the top I only had my wrong answer. I didn't have the right answer, but yeah, Trump has them all. The answers in a yeah. box. Yeah, keeps them in his desk drawer. Okay, number three with the magic mirror was Romper Brown. Yay! Yay. Yeah. Number four. This was a little tricky because it was. There were different families featured in this show over the years, and this was just the first family, so it wasn't Timmy yet, but yeah. it was Lassie. Uh, yeah. Yay. Oh, yeah. And this one was funny. I thought the third section of this show with the blue dog, I should have said Southern blue dog, that might have helped. It was the Huckleberry Hound show. All right. Oh, that makes nice. sense now. That yeah, was, yeah. yeah. Uncle and number yeah. six. Wait, wait, wait. Were, were the bears oh. Yogi Bear or was that a different show? Yeah, that was Yogi and Boo Boo. Yeah, it was. They were the oh. and then, yeah. got their own show. We just got yeah. And then this 58. next one, I used to watch this moral lesson show. I, this is Davy and Goliath. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they have no. a nice rocket ship launch no. at the beginning of that show. Davy and Goliath. <laughs> I don't remember, remember I needed a good all. sleep. It was a great show. If it you was ever watch um, moral, moral Oral on Adult Swim, it's taking it's a takeoff and David. Oh, and oh I'll have to watch it. You, you have to, yeah. It, yeah. Have okay, to thanks. Oh, number, yes. number seven, the oh. Phil Silver's knockoff was Top Cat. Yeah. Oh, that. I thought that was Yogi Bear. Number eight with the the Sandy and Bud. And Plus. the uh, the pet was Flipper. Dolphin. They call him Flipper. Flipper. Oh, that's, that's right. 
this is really obscure. And I had the board game and my brother wouldn't play it with me because it was so bad. It was shenanigans. Yep. Never heard oh, of it. Oh, wow. Oh. Never it heard was, of it. I'm yeah, glad it was I didn't go along on the that. Name of a bar. Shenanigans I, is a bar name. I love, I lo oh, is uh, it? I, I love this last show, this number 10 show. Um, and it's on, I saw it on YouTube. Doc Tari. Doctor. Yay, Jane got Great. it. Jane got good it. Job. Never heard of it before. <laughs> and the oh, it was good. I watched it a lot. And the bonus, which uh, it's pretty obscure to me, but maybe someone remembered, is Pixie and Dixie and Mr. Jinx. That's the two oh. mice and I the cat. I remember Mr. Jinx. Did you have to get all three? Pixie yes. and Dixie. The mice. The name of the show was Pixie and Dixie, though. And Mr. Jinx. Was it? Yes. I thought you'd wait a minute. I'm going to read this again. No, we were so close. Yeah, we only had two thirds of them. <laughs> Do we, oh, we don't get credit for just Pixie and Dixie, huh? No bonus for us. We said Pixie and Mr. Jinx. Right. I had hemp the red, gerbils, Pixie and Dixie. I thought it was just <laughs> called Pixie and Dixie. Hey, Pixie. Hey, Dixie. Scores. Oh. All right, so we have a tie in the first uh, in Blue Alaska and Dark Brandons of Washington. So let's start with I'm not saying aliens planted those classified documents, but this is Terry's room, by the way. Uh, we we have a streak going at six. Okay. One more. That's devilish. Uh oh. See you later, alligator. Yeah, eight. One better. Cool. All right, you're in the lead. And Trump pays his lawyers with frequent liar miles. Seven. Oh. These are the kind of scores I like, you guys, just right around there. And let's go with Dark Brandons of Washington. Ten. Oh, legit. Wow. Mm -hmm. Who is the ringers on your team? My goodness. Uh, Blue Alaska. Also 10. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh. It was a group, it was a group oh, effort. Nobody knew up. all the answers. It was a group yep. effort. Yep. We should say that Bob did everything. He okay, time for a break. Great I want to take a picture first before we go on a break. I got a story to tell if anybody wants to hear a one minute story, but I'll look for it. Okay, well, let's take a photo. Everybody look at your best. Oops, Cass. <clears throat> you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> wait, wait. One, two, three. I seem to be opposite. No, I'm not. Okay, I got it. Let's see. Smiling faces, sort of, on some people. Some people know how to take a picture. Know All how right. to take a picture or know how to be in one. Two different things. Five minutes. If Kevin wants to tell his story, go for it. I'll listen, so, Kevin. I'll yeah, listen so, to Kevin. Yeah, yeah so Sorry, this story go. is goes back to the early 80s when I worked at a school for autistic children. I was um, a night attendant. And uh, there was this one kid named Christopher who was about 17 at the time. And he did everything by the clock. He woke up at a certain time. His alarm went off. He had breakfast. Everything. He was very, very regimented and time constricted. He walked from his home, that it was a school that he lived in, and he walked to the office, which was just down the street, and did his filing, and he was very good at it, and everything was strict. He went to bed at 10 o'clock every night, he watched the news in his bed, and he shut it off at a certain hour, and everything was automatically on time, scheduled, he had a watch, he loved everything, and he loved his being in a routine. So he was a really smart, high-functioning, uh, autistic child and so one night I'm working the night shift and there was two of us working and there was about 17 kids in the building on two different floors and on the, the basement floor was the offices and the workshops and the second and third floor were the bedrooms and, and kitchens and stuff like that so in the middle of the night uh, Christopher runs out of his room lost my camera, and goes running down the stairs and he goes one way and I follow him and I said to the girl working with me, go the other way and go down that stairways and let's make sure he doesn't bolt out of the building because we didn't know what he was doing. 
So I follow him. He goes through the first office and starts ripping paper up and throwing it away. Goes into the next office, ripping up paper and throwing it in the trash. He goes to each one and he gets to the very last room. And there's a candy cupboard there, the closet. And I stand in front of it because I thought maybe he was going to go in there and raid the candy. And he says, excuse me, excuse me. And he, he wanted me to move. And I says, Christopher, what's going on? And he finally just pushes me out of the way, opens up the door, grabs the calendar and rips the page off and rolls it up, throws in the trash. <laughs> and I said, what is going on? He goes, it's September. <laughs> it was the stroke of midnight. He had to change wow. every calendar in the building. <laughs> oh, it's September. Wow. All right. <laughs> he, couldn't True story. Them. he couldn't have a calendar in the building with it stroke of midnight. He ran through the building and grabbed every little calendar off the desks and ripped off the so it said September 1st. Poor guy. But it, that's the way he was. I thought he so went when, to bed at 10. But yes, but he got up that night for the first time on my shift. Oh, so he did he do it every month. month. Did he do it the, every month thereafter? That's yeah, the first time I noticed it, that I ever worked with him and I had to report it. And everybody in the in the doctors and the psychologists thought it was great. And I says, he must have been doing this every month. No one notices? <laughs> I was the first one who reported it. You know, it's September. I asked him why. Jeez. And that's what he said to me. It's <laughs> September. It's he September. Made great. I like and it. Right good night, you guys. Have a good night. Terry, leaving us. Bye, Terry. Bye. Bye. Thanks, oh, Terry. Murray and cousin are leaving us too. Come join us again. Oh, sure. We got a yeah. good time. Good night, yeah. everybody. Night. Okay. Two more minutes. I'll be right back. <laughs> I think I can make some decaf. Let me. Decaf would be good. Yeah, decaf would be really good. I think, and I can do that really fast. Yeah, that for everybody. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that, would be, that would be something. Geez, I wish uh, Susan could be like uh, our uh, president here of the group oh. that I belong to. She's an extrovert, so of course everybody has to be in person. So she made our uh, groups in person. So I was on the board. I was on. The board. I'm not. Roof. Am I not muted? No. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm going to mute myself. Oh, you don't have to. It's fine. My dogs, like, they do sympathetic barking with each other. So one will bark at something and then they all start barking at nothing. Oh, you're going to like that. <laughs> I wish I could have animals, but I am allowed to have uh, animals where I live now. But uh, they're very expensive, so I can't really. Really? Hmm. Yeah, I can't really afford to have a pet. I can I can barely afford to feed myself. Never mind having another pet. So. Well, I went. I took Petunia to the vet today and spent. a dropped a, a, a load. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that's the thing is they have catch insurance here but it doesn't pay out like they would weasel their way out of paying for it. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I'd, I would rather just pay it. It's going to be like 50 bucks a month for the health and the pet insurance, which is $600 a year per pet. So, uh, you know, and then they'll weasel out of whatever. So I'm not going to spend my time. I, I could spend a thousand dollars of my time arguing with them over whether they're going to cover something. I'm not going to do yeah. that. I'm just going to pay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the way so it's like well they're gonna weasel their way out of paying for anything so why pay them money we're back so. all right what do we got who's got something i know kyle does because i just was in the middle of listening to this last segment it was really really good you guys it gets even better there are layers 
to this fraud. So this week on Data Skeptic, I talked to a researcher who got involved in the underground of Amazon fraudulent reviews, where, where you can make a side income uh, being sent products that you do a review for and then are paid just to get those five stars and get people ranking higher in the algorithms. So that's this secondary black market that's emerged given the size and scope of Amazon marketplaces. And that's this week on Data Skeptic. Really interesting. Yeah, I, I got to the part where they're talking about the fraud within the fraud and how mm -hmm. the people are like doing the competitors or they're pretending to be the competitor and then not giving them the money. Oh, there's so much fraud. Oh my gosh. Everything you could think of is like, oh, and then they do it this way and then they do it this way. And you're like, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's the whole world is, I'll have to listen to that. The whole world is like this spy versus spy thing, you know? <laughs> And then you he, ask some clever people to put a uh, ship on the moon and they can do that. You ask other clever people to create fraudulent reviews, they'll figure other ways out. It's And they were saying there was like 100,000 or th thousands of people in these Facebook groups. What oh, was yeah. thing? Yeah, yeah, hundreds or thousands of people actively engaged in this. God, it's it a was whole awful. industry. Just It makes you just really lose your humanity you know any any edge anybody can to get an extra buck out of somebody or mm -hmm. just oh anyway so sad but uh yeah very interesting and the one before it i i finished after uh a few days ago and it was about the amazon echo and how it listens to what you're saying and then it shows you ads on your um I just, yep. You said you're you're uh, talking a lot about amazon this oh and the God. next segment's going to be amazon related right yeah, I got one more uh, pretty interesting Amazon thing coming next week. Boy, very good. So I don't have anything that I've done this week. I know Rob Palmer has had uh, more out, which has been really interesting. What you got, Rob? Oh, yes, I got to do two interviews, which were video interviews, which were published uh, just a few days apart, amazingly, to promote the conference. One was with one of my favorite Italians, Massimo Polidoro. He's and then, oh, really good segment too. That was and, a great. And interview. then the second one was uh, Adelis Pollard, who I had not heard of before, yet. but she's actually fascinating. Uh, a, a, a scientist from the Caribbean who's going to be talking at SciCon also. And your uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson one popped up today. Popped up where? I just I pulled it up. It's uh, anticipating SciCon. Neil deGrasse Tyson here. I'll put it in the link in here if you haven't seen it. It's not normally that I'm one of the first to find these things. That was up a while ago. I saw it. Again. Yeah, I sort of don't know what you're talking about. A while. I think it just showed up in your feed again. Huh. Oh. Yeah, that oh, was yeah that's right. You've already had this one. I keep thinking it's Bill Nye you're interviewing for some reason. No, never mind. Hmm. This was uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson just popped up in my feed again. That's right. I've already seen this one. Yeah, someone actually told me that. They said uh, they were just watching YouTube and all of a sudden I popped up in their feed interviewing somebody. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how does that happen? Well, it happens. If you if you <laughs> subscribe to these channels, they'll pop up. Um, I'm almost done with the article on um, the Eugene Skeptic Toolbox. The reason why it's taking a while mm -hmm. is because I went back and rewatched the interviews, the um, lectures, and they were terrific. There was so much I got out of them the second time when I was able to sit down and really watch them because they had, uh, um, and I made notes and stuff like that. I wanted to get the quotes correct. But it was really interesting because a couple of the of the talks kind of played like uh, Lauren Pinkris's uh, talk and, and then followed by uh, Paul Scoble. It just kind of, they fit into each other. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end, you well, know, they're talking about something and then it, it, the second one kind of talks about not the same thing, but they both give advice to, um, to the skeptic community on how to best educate people. And, and their, mm -hmm. the idea from the two was that we really need to tell stories. Data doesn't sell. I mean, uh, uh, um, it doesn't help change a mind so much. Like if you just say, you know, <laughs> people are dead and or people are going to die and, and, you know, water level is going to go up an inch or whatever. That doesn't sell as much as if you were to like focus on a community that's that's on the water and how it's going to affect them. I mean, so stories and emotion is really how you get um, people to to change your mind or take pay attention to it yeah absolutely so it was a very um you know watching them again and being able to do it in my own time and 
and take notes and I'll, let me put the channel up here again. So I know you guys have not watched these unless you were there live. I know this because they have not got enough views on it for very many people. They've got like 10 views, 11 views, which is really sad. And there's only 30 subscribers to this channel. We were 19 when I started. So the talks are really good. I mean, I recorded them. I'm not a videographer and I'm not a great editor or anything like that. So they are what they are, but they're terrific talks with some very smart people. And just don't even worry about my talk because it was cut off. And so what's the channel? It's uh, Oregonians for Science and Reason. I just put it in the chat. It's O, Ooh. the number four, S, and R. <laughs> and that's Janine and, and Jane and Adam's um, group. But they really deserve uh, a, a nice uh, look. Oh, and uh, one of the talks I just listened to again was by two teachers at a community college. Their last name is Bunsen and Wart. And they gave a talk on, they had put together a, um, a class for community college, like, you know, like Yell's talking about what she does a lot, where you put, it was all skeptic related. So they teach you about the Gish Gallup. They teach you about um, evidence, how to, how to evaluate evidence. They're science teachers, but they put together this class and it was called Someone's Wrong on the Internet. <laughs> <laughs> and then the pandemic hit. So, and, and it was really fun. It was, you know, now I listen to their talk again. Oh yeah, thanks, Rob. All ten of your interviews. There's, there's a couple I'm missing in there. I know, but um, lots of great content in these things. And you know, give them a look. Give these things a little bit of a look. Anyway. So by the way, I, I just I just did uh, Nathan Lentz. So he's going to come out maybe tomorrow. I really like him. He's a yeah, good person. Yeah, we actually had him uh, as, a, as a guest at and recovering from religion the week before. And Kenny Biddle was this last Monday, by the way. But they don't have they're not up anywhere yet online. Uh, thank yeah. you. Oh. I'm and then, sorry. And then I'm going to be doing uh, Tim Caulfield, one of my uh, favorite. Another really people. nice oh. guy. Really one, nice guy. I've just, just because of his great. book, which I love the name of his book, is Gwyneth Paltrow wrong about everything? Which, of course, the answer is yes. <laughs> oh, I've heard of him. Yeah. Thank, you, Gary. Thank you, Susan, for mentioning us. The talks were very good. So I well, subscribed. Thank you for all your recording and stuff it was fun you know and i'm really glad even though i got covid but I, it was not from you guys i didn't get it from nope. it was nope. somewhere it was between oregon and seattle i know that so um lots of lots of great memories you guys of um some great travels i don't have anything scheduled for a little bit but cyclone is over 500 people are registered for it already and i and uh you know where is wait a minute psycon psycon is in vegas where do you get to sign up for it go to psycon.com org psycon.org no oh, so um here you go i'll put the link in it's at the beginning of every one of my articles mm -hmm. it's so, going to be terrific here you go psycon link. so all right so i think we're about ready to start <laughs> again. oh um Friday night, tomorrow night, anybody in the vicinity of Monterey, Monterey County, Salinas, we're going to be doing, I'm going to try to go to first night, no, first Friday in Old Town, which is going to be, it's like an art walk and, and, you know, you can get wine, not that I drink, but you can go one around and Robin, our chief fiddler will be there with her band, her group mm. playing music. So that'll be fun. I'll go take pictures and share them on Facebook for everybody. Mm. Uh, Relay for Life is something that is a cancer. Oh, I did that once. Group. I've never done it before, but I got talked into it yesterday by somebody. So I went and got a whole bunch of purple ribbons mm. from somebody. I picked them up today. I put them on my tree and now I'm going to make all mm. my neighbors go get them. Karen says she'll put them up. <laughs> oh, I do have one other bit of news. So, uh, yes, Richard Saunders. Uh, oh, yeah. Where's Richard? Why isn't he talking? I, well, he has, to, he has to do his thing. But uh, I, will be, I will be mentioning Richard. I hope. From the stage of Psycon. So I finished the first hurdle of applying for a Sunday paper speaking spot. It's down from 16 to, to 8. So they're going to knock two people off. And uh, hopefully it's not me. And if I'm up there, I'm going to be talking about the great Australian Psychic Prediction Project. Awesome. Yeah, I noticed that. That's really awesome. That needs to be a lot more mentioned. Mentioned a lot. 
Go ahead, Richard. I'm sorry. I, I almost skipped you. I can't. Never look mind. Coming up. It's that new skip. microphone. Yes, it's the new microphone, Susan. Coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast. My report on the recent court trial here in Australia, where a murderer was brought to justice 40 years after the murder. And my day in court, where I was a witness to the evidence given by a psychic. There you go. Tim Mendham has part two of his series about the history of unicorns. We have the story about anti-vaxxers here in Australia having to pay legal fees of the government, which is a great story. The Trove looks at references to Zodiac, and we have another skeptical poem by our friend Jim Wilshire, the late Jim Wilshire, about the Zodiac, and also news of the Australian Skeptics National Convention. And I've just in the last five minutes finished this video. I'm just going to share it. It goes for about a minute. Let me see. I've got to make sure I share audio, share sound. Let me see if this works. Everybody stand by. Can you all see that? Yeah. Yeah. Skeptic on 2022, the Australian Skeptics National Convention. This year, the convention will be held in Canberra on the 3rd and 4th of December. The event will be held at the National Library of Australia. The theme this year is Skepticism in a Changed World, and the lineup of speakers includes Claire Klingenberg, President of the European Council of Skeptical Organizations, the hosts of the European Skeptics podcast, The Real ESP Experience, and live stream talks by Skeptics Guide to the Universe host, Dr. Stephen Novella, and Skeptoid host, Brian Dunning. There is also a wide variety of domestic speakers, including Major General Mike Ryan, retired, who will be speaking on science fiction and security professionals, author David Dufty on Radio Girl, ACT Academy of Sports Psychologist Christine Dunn on Superstitions in Sport, controversial author Clive Hamilton on being censored, and many, many more scientific and skeptical topics. To get your tickets, visit www.skepticon.org.au to choose full in person, one day in person, or streaming options. That's Skepticon 2022, the Australian Skeptics National Convention, 3rd and 4th of December in Canberra, Australia. That is really good. I, I miss going over there so bad. It's I want to go back. Is, it, is this the same conference that you just mentioned on the last, maybe Tim was talking about where they had to change the dates because there was something yes. else that took up the yes. hotels? All the hotels were gone. I was wondering, oh my God, what if somebody has a, pl a non-refundable plane? I was ticket? wondering about the ESP. Um, I know it's, look, I'm not organizing it this year. And <laughs> so I can only assume that they've looked after all that. <clears throat> Paid the fees or whatever. Well, you know, right. the ESP was going over. Hopefully the ESP was going over and we're like going to stay for a few weeks a couple weeks and it just so happens that we're oh, i don't know but two of those people are gsow editors just saying yeah nice okay i just have to take a call from the skeptics headquarters i'll be back soon oh headquarters. the back phone's the back phone's ringing all right so we're back jamie are you the next one yes are you all set you're you are all social you are all hooked up to be the Hi. Did you want me to mute everyone, Jamie? Oh, I just saw this joke from. Okay. Steve. Yes, please. Because I have an I iPad, so I'm someone limited. What's the category? Okay. The category is the wonderful world of soup. Hey, okay. I'm just going to mute everyone. Three, okay. two, one. Okay. Got to unmute yourself, Jamie. Okay, so our category today is the wonderful world of soup. Okay, let's get started. Okay, question number one. 
Soup is a primarily liquid food served either hot or cold, made by combining the ingredients of meat and or vegetables with stock, milk, or water. Direct archeological evidence of the first meat soup dates back to before 6,000 BC, made with which semi-aquatic animal? Okay. Number two. Are you putting it in the chat? Yep. It's not in there. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay. Takes a while to come from Thailand. <laughs> Number two. What is currently the world's largest soup? Wait, what? Number th what is currently the world's largest soup? How, 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 what? You'll have to think about it. Okay. You'll see. It'll make sense when we know the answer. Huh? Is, it, is, is, it, is it a cat? A Vincent, find out. Is it a Vincent pun? I'm not sure, Claire. No. Okay, number, number three. Pho is a delicious Vietnamese beef soup influenced by the country's French colonial occupiers and named after pot of pho, a French stew. Traditionally, it's served with flat rice noodles, basil, mint, onion, ginger, garlic, bean sprouts, and what fruit juice? Number four. Oops, hold on. Okay, number four. This 1933 Marx Brothers classic, called by some as their best film, contains the renowned mirror scene. Name this movie. Number five. A lethal thick smog, mostly occurring in 1950s London, contains soot particles and poisonous sulfur dioxide. This was known as what fog? Number six. Chinese wonton soup is popular worldwide. What is the origin of the word wonton? A, Mandarin for swallowing dumplings. B, Cantonese for swallowing clouds. C, Shanghainese for swallowing pillows. Or D, Tiang Chinese for swallowing air. Number seven. Clam chowders come in different varieties. Massachusetts serves its famous delicious creamy version. Manhattan chowder is tomato based. What is the defining feature of Rhode Island clam chowders? Number eight, oops. Sold from 1899 to 2010, this now discontinued Campbell soup was made of beef tripe, vegetables, and seasonings. What soup was this? Okay, number nine. How many feet of noodles or in a typical single serving instant ramen noodle packet? A, 40 feet, B, 80 feet, C, 120 feet, or D, 170 feet? Number 10. Ricky Martin was a member of this popular mid-1980s boy band. 
And the bonus, of course. Andy Warhol is famous for his 1962 Campbell soup cans work of art. It featured every Campbell soup variety. How many cans of soup does this original artwork have within plus minus two? That's all folks. These are great. With number nine, are those noodles under tension? Cause there's a lot of elasticity in them. So if you the take data the skeptic here, who wants to know? Yeah, if you- That's the perfect trivia question. Yeah, while you're eating it, while you're, if you just line them up, you line them up and see how far they go. And under standard atmospheric uh, pressure and temperature <laughs> under, with no load on them. Yeah, no under load. Perfect okay. trivia question. Yes, yeah, under STP with no load. <laughs> okay, Paula and uh, just joined. Hello, Paula. So hey. I just sent you all the questions, Paula, and Caspian, Hello. I guess, was cut out or something. So Caspian, I'm sending you all the questions as well, direct message, so that you'll have them. Okay. I don't My know if I'll see was... them once we go into the groups, though. I never see any chat. You can't. I see only them. see, I only see the chat for whatever group I'm in. Oh, so you can't? Can you see them right now? The ones yes, just... because we're, because we're not in a uh, a group. I mean, in the the whole group. But when you so get to the room, you can't see them. No. What? Uh, what? Somebody should share the screen. I'm on my phone. Yeah. I think That's we're going to do a screen share, and you'll probably be on our team because we're in the basement. <laughs> Let's That's see. Right. Uh, yeah. Right. So, Paula, you're going to be on uh, team two. So, you are on. I'm not saying aliens planted those classified documents, but you guys are way in the basement there with 12 points. <laughs> That's why right, I, Cass, I just sent him over. I don't know if you have a bonus. Okay, so good job. I like these questions. It's great. They're different. Totally, totally, totally different. So that's what I like. So here we go. Who wants well, to fling me around? Oh, I get to fling him. I forgot. <laughs> One of my favorite parts. So <laughs> three, make sure you let me know to remind me to fling him around. Let me put Paula okay. is going to go into two. Caspian, what are you in? Three. Okay. And Bob, you're not in there either. Bob, you're in um, four. Four. Okay, I'm going to three and I will fling you around, Jamie. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Come up with a few. Hi, Susan. Hi, team. I don't think I know anything about Sue, but I have one answer, but I don't oh. know close okay. I mean, it's probably the same thing everybody has number five amy you can't participate you have to be quiet <laughs> okay I'll fling him in a minute do you have any clue about that world's largest soup i'm thinking it might be the great gyre of the pacific where all that plastic shit is gurgling up you know there's that area out in the pacific ocean where all this plastic right. has the great accumulated. i don't know but i was waiting for a, for a question on soupy sales since we yeah. had oh. <laughs> oh, that would have been good. Damn it. Oh, okay. How about like a giant, isn't there like, is there possibly a Guinness Book of World Record faux soup somewhere? <sighs> Not that I would know, but. Okay, we'll come back to two. Yeah. Five so, is piece. Three is lemon. Okay, what kind of animal would they have made soup from? Oh, well, turtles. Sem semi aquatic. Yeah, turtle. I think it's turtle too. Turtle. Turtle soup is, is big, semi aquatic. I mean, that's got to be a turtle, right? Frog? Right. Sure. They'd well, be the easy ones? ones to catch. They're well, slow. They're starting to eat them in the Galapagos. Did you hear that? People are all pissed mm -hmm. off. All right. Uh, uh, number four is duck soup. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I think number three is lemon. I th I'm thinking papaya. No, I've never seen pho with papaya. You don't make lemon fruit juice, though. Yeah, why not? 
you just you take a slice of lemon and you juice it into the soup. You think it wouldn't be lime then? No. Uh, well, I suppose it could be limes. It, it's one of those two. It's either limes or lemons. It's been a while since I've had pho, but I'm constantly around pho, so. And it comes with a citrus yeah. something? You're constantly yeah. around it? What does that mean? Jamie likes pho, and I like Vietnamese food. Um, is five uh, pea soup? Yeah, it's pea soup. Yes. That's the only one I do. <laughs> that fits the spaces. So are we going with lemon or lime on three? Anybody have a thought? Lemon. Let's go with lime. Lime? You sound so convinced with uh, lemon at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about it, but I'm, I seem to recall it usually is a green lime, so... Soylent green. All right, we got duck, we got pea, wonton. I, the wonton thing, I like the Cantonese answer the best myself. I, I want to say that it's probably Cant the Cantonese, because I'll bet yeah. you the word comes into English via Hong Kong, which is yeah. right next to uh, What Canton. number? I'm sorry, I, this got all screwed up for me. What number oh, is that? Six, six wonton six. soup question. So which answer do you think it is? B? I think B. it's B. Um, Mandarin, wonton, ugh. and Cantonese no, are I was, so I'm much thinking, more foodies. I, I'm actually thinking because of the shape, I was thinking it's going to be either uh, a pillow or dumpling. But I mean, it they are dumplings. Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, that's kind of goes back on itself if you call a dumpling a dumpling. It's a it's a kreplach. Yeah, I'm just thinking where where would the word have entered into English? Because I'm pretty sure wonton soup is not actually a an actual Chinese dish. I think it's an Americanized thing. And I think that like most of the yeah, it just seems like it's more, probably more Cantonese culture cuisine than Mandarin culture cuisine because it's sort of the people's food. Well, Cantonese is right. pretty much, I, I always think of Cantonese as American Chinese food. I mean, we see that the most here. You know, your average basic, uh, you know, corner Chinese restaurant is Cantonese. Yeah. Right. So are we okay with B? Cindy, that's such yeah. a nice piece well, of I don't. I, I don't like it, but I'll go with whatever you guys want. Cindy? The well, we should vote then. So pretty. What, what do you like? Case? I, I I still I still kind of like um, uh, either the dumplings or the pillows. Anybody else have a? It, okay, we got two Cantonese so far. We got one split vote: dumplings or pillows. Susan, what I've do never, you like? I've never eaten it. I, I wouldn't know. <clears throat> I know nothing about it. Yeah, that. all the food questions are wasted on Susan unless it's about pizza. Oh, you're right. Oh, wonton soups. Uh, good wonton soups. Great. I've never had it. Milk duds, maybe. Yeah. And we're going to talk about milk duds. They, yeah. Cindy, do you have a preference? I have no idea. Okay, it's two to one, Alan. Sorry. All right. <clears throat> I don't know anything <laughs> about no Rhode Island clam chowder, neither. I think it's um, lobster or... Um, Mark, every time he goes somewhere, Mark's always asking if it's red or white clam chowder. And I think I've heard him talking about um, it's a fish, some sort of like a, a lobster or. A... No, it would be clam. <clears throat> yeah, so, but it's, the red is tomato sauce, but this seems like there's something else like a. Well, that's the Manhattan clam chowder. Has Massachusetts tomato. is the white and something Rhode Island does something weird. Coffee. And you know who's going to know this? Kevin's going to know this. Oh, of course. Well, okay. What could it be? Well, it could be. Um, it could be that they use a particular kind of clam. It could be that they do add lobster. It could be that they chicken, Rhode Island red. Yeah, they could put sausage in it. They could put chicken in it. They could use. The more like a gumbo. Yeah, maybe more like a gumbo. gumbo. 
Well, you want to call it oh, chicken? What's in a gumbo? What is that? Is that more Opera and lots of um, some other oysters, other seafood. Is oysters are spicy. Bad I've never been to Rhode Island. Does anybody know? Like, do they have a particular seafood there? Rhode no. Island red. They do have chickens. You know, they have the Rhode Island red chicken. Don't know anything mm -hmm. about Rhode Island. I mean, I've been to Rhode Island a couple of times, but I've never had. Time we have a category in Rhode Island. You guys are gonna be really embarrassed if we have any. Well, Cindy hasn't been playing that long, but you guys should know if there. Did we have a category for Rhode Island? We've done a bunch. Did of we stuff. have a category for Rhode Island soups? That's the important question. Well, <laughs> we we might have had one on Rhode Island that talked about like the the the, the, the you know what is the bird or what is there. Yeah. Okay, not helping. Um. Campbell soup made of beef tripe. Ooh, that sounds awful. Well, I don't know. Is uh, I mean, I, I still got to get the right name. I mean, I, I, I thought they still made it. Was uh, vegetable beef? Campbell's vegetable beef soup. That's probably yeah. what it was. It says it's just. Continued. I thought they still had it, but maybe not. I don't know. I'm not sure the last time I purchased Campbell's soup was. 2010, they discontinued something. I grew, I grew up on Campbell's soup. What's Cindy? Uh, uh, my dad used to sell the damn stuff at his warehouse. Didn't uh. he make like an alphabet soup? <gasps> no, but, but, it's, it's, soup it's, but it's a beef and vegetable uh, soup. Well, the, the, you can still have beef and vegetables in alphabet soup. Yeah, but it's tripe. Did Campbell's alphabet soup had any vegetables or meat in it? I thought it was what just was, What is tripe? It's cow stomach. It's in Menudo. I don't think they ever sold Menudo, especially not in 1899. Well, I'm just wondering if was it was the name tripe actually in the in the name of the soup, though? It may have, been, it may have been in the soup. I wouldn't think that would sell very well. That's <laughs> why it would be discontinued. I don't know. I know somebody who always extra tripe with her pho. Except for always It's like having, you know, cream of cream of uh of, corn? Uh, I like cream, corn. Cream, cream, cream of kishka soup. Oh, yeah. have you flung Jamie lately, Susan? Oh, yeah, I flung him a couple times. It's about time. Okay, Thank so you. they used to make one called a scotch broth, and it had like barley and vegetables and beef in it. Wasn't that called scotch broth, or was it barley beef? Beef and barley, That's more like barley and beef because, um. I think most of Campbell's soups are kind of their titles are pretty district descriptive. Yeah, but like like we said, I don't think they would put tripe in the description. Yeah, but they probably they would. But it says beef tripe, so they could use beef. It could be beef. They, they could call beef it beef and, reasonably. Yeah, beef and barley, beef and vegetable. Well, there's a vegetable beef. There, there is a veg, uh, Campbell's vegetable beef soup. The only thing is, I I thought they still make it, so I don't know. Yeah. Should we try beef and barley then? No, because sure. I've had beef and barley. I, really? I, if, I've, if I would do anything, if we're just going to throw a guess, I would say vegetable beef. All right. Anybody have a disagreement with vegetable beef? Anybody have a beef with it? Yeah. Or a vegetable with it? Yeah. What number right. are we at? We have to get down to um, nine. How many feet of noodles are in a ramen pack? Now, I have that stuff all the time, but I've never counted the feet. You haven't the... measured it after you cooked it? Well, now the thing is, okay, so it comes wiggly and it comes hard. And the package itself is about four or five inches, maybe. Uh, five inches square. But they have a thing like that. I, I don't I don't know that it's the 170 seems like a lot. Um okay. I don't know. 170 is not really that much. Really? I mean, when you think about how small those noodles are, just how tightly wrapped they are. Yeah. Really tight. I don't think it's impossible. Okay, let's say if it's flat, it's a squiggle. How many deep would it be? This is like, yeah, this is like, you know, trying to guess how many M&Ms are in the jar, you yeah. know. Um, and and you have to cook the M&Ms to figure out how big they'll be. Um, 
Well, now it would have you would have to be thinking in terms of dried ramen. You, you no, can't, I think can't. you have to think in terms of wet because you can't measure it if it's not wet. Well, who's going to measure the damn thing anyway? The the point it's, is, it's asking for what's in the noodle packet, not as cooked. What's yeah, in the noodle so packet? In the packet, yeah. So I'm just going to guess 120 feet. I, I, I'm thinking it's probably more likely something like that, that I don't know that it would be quite 170. That's. Do we have any objection to 120? No. Except that, hang on a second. Of course, one, two of those things will be almost a foot. Oh, you know, maybe. Because, yeah. Uh, God, I don't know. Do you want to go with the 120? Seems like a reasonable amount. Can't yeah. to knock us out of it. Uh, I, don't, I don't have an objection. <laughs> so why don't we do 120? 120 it is. All right. And then if it's wrong, we blame Cindy. So we're good there. <laughs> All right. Who knows their boy bands? I'll know it if you say it. Ricky Martin was a Oh, Menudo. Speaking of Menudo, wasn't he in Menudo? That's it. That's it. See, there you are. Wait, wait, what's Menudo? It was Menudo a, came it up was a boy band. Fine. Right, I but I mean, what does, it trans, what does it translate as? It's a, oh, it's a Mexican soup. soup. It is. It's okay, made with beef tripe and uh, pozole, uh, corny did stuff. Cam did Campbell make it? No. no, I don't think they made it. They're 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 way too not. Oh, as soon as you said it, that's exactly that is definitely the answer. I hope nobody else comes up with that one. I remember. They may that. know. They may do it now, but they certainly didn't do it back when that question is aimed at. So Andy Warhol is famous for his nineties. Oh, and thought he painted the tomato Campbell soup. Just one can. I didn't I realize. Thought, I, I didn't I realize because we yeah. did. Have we had this as a, a, a similar question at some point uh, about uh, what 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 were the cans of soup. Then I didn't realize that he that he he painted all all the different soups. Damn, I wish Mark yeah, wasn't yeah, God's head either. Mark would know this. God, it, it was God each Campbell's variety. So what do we got? We got tomato. Oh, we're gonna go through it. Come on, there's there's, there's got there's got to be there's got to be like. Eat. It's got to be 30 of them, 25, 30. Yeah. Chicken noodle. That chicken chicken noodle. vegetable, chicken and rice, Beans chicken and gumbo, I chicken can't even gumbo, picture this. vegetable, beef, beef and barley. In 62, there might not have been that many, but there were quite a few. Um, Under 12? 12. Under 20? What do you guys think? I think under twenty. Or, yeah, uh, if he's if it's only a, a margin of uh, plus or minus two, it's probably not a whole lot more than that. So, yeah, twelve, ten, fifteen. Fifteen would give us to seventeen and thirteen, not twelve. Do you want to do twelve? So we have ten and fourteen. How about just do sixteen? So it gives you eighteen or down to fourteen. I mean, or let's do, let's do 15. Then we'll have 17 and 13. Sounds good. <laughs> don't, don't you think it's going to be, I don't know why I think this, wouldn't it be an even number? Because there's one main one and then an even number on each side, right? I don't, I'm trying to remember the, I can't remember. Yeah. I think it might be like a panel of a row, a row, a row. Oh, did he write, I mean, was it one picture with all the cans? I think that's what they're saying here, yeah. Oh, I was thinking he just individual. Oh, that's different. There wouldn't be. Yeah. Oh, I know that. I remember that one. It's a whole bunch in there. Yeah. It seemed like it would be an even number if he did it because he was kind of. I'm, that way. That. I, I'm thinking that there's that it's a little higher number than you think 24. Well, I, I don't know if I go that high, but if you want it, if we did like 20. 18, you get 20 and 16. Yeah, we can do that. I'm easy. Anybody? So you want, to going 18, once? You want to do 18? Going once, going twice. We sell an 18? Yeah, sure. So I was right. saying, Cindy, that I, piece of art right next to you, the green face is really pretty. This big painting? Yeah. Yeah, I got that from a local artist. 
That's too bad you didn't have Cam. Pacific Grove. No, there's no soup in that picture. Yeah, no we could soup. use the soup. Not helpful, but all right. Yeah, for number two, great. you guys, do you want me to go ahead with the great gyre of the Pacific? She's got a lot of personality. Yeah. I'm putting it in unless you guys object. About what? The great what gyre of the Pacific. The great what Pacific. Is, what is that? What is oh, that? Yeah. It's the great mass of plastic crap that's out between California and Hawaii. <clears throat> But how, how does that relate to soup? Is it just called a... It's just a big soupy mass of crap. <laughs> there might be a soup name for it, the plastic soup or something. <clears throat> I thought it was a great... It's called the gyre, yeah. G-Y-R-E. G-Y-R-E, the great... R-E? What would it be? Or was it the great Pacific? something gyre dire oh, well. how you spell it g-y-r-e i believe it's like a well it's a morass of stuff. i'm thinking it's gyre well, i don't want to look it up because it might you know no be cheating i i can't imagine spelling is a problem so yeah I, right, so I'm I leaving that in until you come up with a better one. The other one we don't have an answer for is the Rhode Island clam chowder. What do we got for that? Do you want to put chicken in? Do you want to put chicken? You were talking chicken. about. Yeah, chicken because it there's a Rhode Island <laughs> chicken. Yeah. Hey guys. We're, I think we got them all. Well, we got doing? something for every category. Okay, good. I mean, every answer. How's everybody Any feel? Questions? Any questions? Yeah, lots, but I don't think everybody <laughs> answers. But how is everybody doing? Good. Actually, um, like I number two, people are saying the correct answer, but they're not putting it down. So <laughs> I love it whenever you I love to go listen in on people because it just cracks you up. They're just like <laughs> you're like, okay. yeah, I'm watching awesome. people talk themselves out of the right answer. Ooh. And Kevin yeah, can't handle fun. it. Kevin exactly. will get in the room and he's like wants to hint and you're like no you can't tell us anything but 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 you're so close you know <laughs> like yeah. don't say anything kevin we know we know that kevin's got which one was it we were saying kevin's going to know the answer to the rhode island one yeah the rhode island he may he may not there's every state surprisingly every state in new england has its own version of chowder so he may not uh -huh. know rhode island but he's he lives in like attleboro <laughs> which is practically rhode island yeah, yeah but if he never if he never eats uh, clam chowder, maybe not. Oh no, he does. Maybe I mean, yeah, there's he's... people. Can you imagine? There's people that have never had wonton soup. I Hard to believe. <laughs> Susan, I've never, never had. I've never chowder. had clam chowder. Right? Yeah, I didn't think so. It's fish in there. Ooh, fish. Ooh. <laughs> so <laughs> you, know, you don't. You don't. You haven't tried gefilte fish. <laughs> mm. No, fish. I can go for gefilte fish. No, I'm not a venture. They're hard to catch. I'm What's that? Talk that Caspi needs Vietnamese. Yeah. You catch him in a jar, don't you? Yeah, catch him in a jar. <laughs> Literally, the Vietnamese food I eat is fried rice and spicy chicken. In other words, your staples. We Basically, there's a Vietnamese yeah. food place we've got chicken. to us. It goes in. They, there's like a really nice um, in some sort of a, a pod, like a lettuce a lettuce wrap. That's really nice um, with some veggies inside and stuff. Spring it's sort of a spring roll but uh have you ever had like it's not vietnamese it's i guess China, a mushu like mushu pork or mushu chicken or beef you ever had that stuff it it's comes like in it with a, a pancake yeah it comes with then you wrap it up well this is like a mushu but instead of in the pancake it's 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 in, it's in these the lettuce wrap. A, lettuce yeah, wrap. It's that's really good <clears throat> Okay, I'm yeah, gonna go. I'm gonna go close the rooms. Good. Okay. Leave breakout. What am I looking for? Leave meeting? No, leave breakout room. Yeah. All right, you guys. So we'll just. I felt, thank you for coming and joining me. I felt very lonely over there. Oh, I'm out of the room to close the rooms. I thought, I'm just going to sit here for a minute and bump my big dog.
realize every single time we come back, we come back and the only other person here is Kat's iPod. That's Kevin's, iPod. Uh, that's Kevin's yeah. thing. No, oh, I leave thing. it. Bob thing. I leave it in the main room. Then I can see the chat, because even if they copy over the, you know, they copy the questions on my phone, it's very small. I can't see it anyway. I didn't so, realize it was your. I didn't realize it was yours. Yeah, okay. it's Bob's. Well, Kat wife's. is my is my wife. So I borrow on Thursday uh, night. Okay. My um, my um laptop died i need to it needs to be rebooted and i got to do it because i'm going to have to do a video um my mom is 85 so i did a a video for her um 80th birthday and i'll take that and you know it's like a movie a slideshow movie type thing and you i'll have to redo it for you know the inevitable you know, Thanks, is she is she um, alert and and everything and all? Yeah, yeah, she is. Yeah. You know what? She this is to anybody. Lot. The best thing you can do to you uh, is get your parents if they're still living, sit down with a microphone, and interview them, and have and have wow. their lives recorded on like on on uh, on a recording. It's it's absolutely worth taking the time because down I, the road. I, I, you know? I know a lot of it already, and it, it's no. You need to have it in nice your voice. Them. Sorted, it's nice to hear I them. Could, we did yeah. that. We did that. Uh, we did that with my dad, and uh, uh, it was really because we had heard these stories a million times. But as he's telling these stories, he suddenly starts remembering other stuff, and we got stuff yeah. that you know that we didn't know. Uh, it was absolutely. Uh, it's absolutely worth doing. You yes. know, and keeping for your. You know, yeah. for the kick. Alan, did you did you see my post yesterday? Yesterday I posted a video of my mom at 85. And my whole post is sit down with these people and put the camera on them. Yep. That's exactly here on my tag name because oh I didn't see that. But I had I had this you're speaking my language. I yeah. saw it. Exactly yeah, I saw just said. It's and I turned it on them and I said. And I said, Mom, give me your earliest memory. And then there's other ones I've done too. The one I put up is about the quilt, I think. But it was funny because, you know, my dad talks about how he met my mom. And then, but then my my mother's older sister had done a video as well. And we got her version of the same story. And it was really kind of funny to hear the, yeah. slight, the little differences in different people in the family on the same, about the same story. And you want to hear their voice. Oh, yes. you want to hear the voice, and if you have kids or grandkids, you want them to. But it, it's just, it's especially nice, you know. Uh, yes. uh, you know, we came up. Uh, Ron, uh, Ron came up with some questions, you know, and the two we we basically did an interview and just had him talk. We have about three hours of uh, of of him talking about stuff. Smart man. I, when, the, when my grandmother was alive, I, I interviewed her like that. But she had had a stroke already, so she was she was tough with the words. But sometimes she was extremely funny because she would say something funny that you didn't make sense, but you knew what she was talking about. Yeah. And then when she was at an old folks' home, we talked to some of the other people around her, and there was a couple of old guys who were telling me these amazing stories of what they did in World War II. And I says, Jesus, I should just videotape every one of these old guys and make a movie out of it because it was just so interesting. He was talking yeah. about being trapped in Poland somewhere, hiding behind a truck when the bombs were going off. Well, and it's like, you know, my life my mother, was my mother, trap. my mother was a war bride. You know, my dad was in the US Army. That's why that's why Ron and I are here. You know, my dad's it was in the US Army. He had he had come over just before the war from Hungary. He went right into the into the army fairly soon. He was in the US Army and he was shipped overseas. He got a medal for serving overseas. He was shipped to Canada and he it was considered overseas and he met my mother there. So my mother's a war bride and uh, they came back to the States and my mother got deported because she was illegal in Buffalo. So they, they threw her out. All right, yeah. guys, Jamie better take over. Because yeah, exactly. I, I can hear stories all day long. I love stories about their family. Okay. Richard, you better Richard get in here. Has to, 
Richard has to go and he's waiting to hear the answer. So if we okay. minimize the chatter, maybe that'll get him out. Okay, all set? <laughs> okay. So Can number you one. Can I buy a new microphone? Okay. Yes, Susan. Um, okay. So I'll give, I'll give the answers and then I'll post the answers afterwards. Okay. So number one, the, the world's first meat soup recipe dating before 6000 BC made with which semi-aquatic animal? The answer is hippopotamus. Oh, oh no! Oh, my God. Anybody get that? No, we said turtle. I, I talked turtle. my team out of that. No, we thought, I'm we so thought sorry. About it. Who knew? Some said turtle. Oh. Hippopotamus. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hippo soup. Yeah, How hippo much soup. soup would that make? A lot. A lot of soup. The world's largest. <laughs> Maybe world's that's the answer largest. for the biggest soup. The How did they largest. freeze the leftovers? <laughs> they just use yeah. the ears. So look up on the internet, look up hippo soup, and you'll see the history of hippo soup. It's famous. Wow. Now, number, number two, what is currently the world's largest soup? Hippo people, soup. Some people got the right answer, but then you talked yourselves out of it. The answer is the oceans, because it contains meat, seafood, and vegetables, all in a salty broth. So technically, it's a soup. Hmm. No. Oh. Oh. Vincent got it. Yeah, very good, Vincent. The oceans. If, if we put one put specific the... ocean, is that good enough? Yeah, any ocean. Any oh, ocean. I put, are... I put the Super Bowl. I thought that was a good answer. <laughs> oh. uh, the ocean I mean, get a portion of an ocean. We, we had an interesting answer. A large amount of urine and animal waste. Okay, Sarah, define soup. Uh, <laughs> we, 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 chose, we chose Chile. <laughs> As in the country, oh, well, that, that was Janine's uh, country. I like that answer. ETC in Stockholm water. And also, he's giving us a hint. Currently, no. Currently, ocean. Peggy, Peggy had a good one. She said, "What was it, Peggy?" The great gyre of the Pacific, where all the trash is. So I was thinking yeah. ocean. Ocean. But but not the yeah. whole ocean. Maybe she was thinking of the great garbage patch thing. Uh, yeah, it's between. I mean, normally you can consume soup. I can't really um, can't consume the ocean. Yeah, so so the first definition is a liquid dish, yada yada yada. But the second one fits Jamie's trick here: a substance or mixture perceived to resemble soup in appearance or consistency, as in the waves and the water beyond have become a thick brown soup. soup. And a pun. Currently, he's giving mm, a currently. Then cash so it's not primordial. I'm afraid people might say primordial, but primordial is in the past. That's why I say currently. Yeah, we're good question. Question. Yeah, yeah, we knew that, that the, we came up with primordial, but we knew it was wrong because of the currently. Yeah, because that's why I said the word currently intentionally because of that. So number three. Right. So helping Richard huh? to move on. Okay. Well, so don't interrupt three. him. Yep. So like far. I am right now. So the traditional um, fruit juice that's used in pho is lime juice. Yay, yes, Caspian. Yay. Yeah. Caspian. Yeah. 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 Which you can see, see in the background, see in my background, that's actually, um, that soup is called khao soy. The soup is in Thailand are excellent. Khao soy is, we have it every Friday. Um, khao soy is it's like a curry broth with coconut milk. Served with um, Richard, Richard pickled, has to go. Pickled <laughs> no, 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 no. Anyway, but all the Asian foods are made with lime. Number four, the um, famous Mark Weathers movie is Duck Soup. Yep. 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 Got that. Number five, um, the um, poisonous fog, which was occurring in 1950s London, is pea soup fog. Mm -hmm. Yep. Number six, um, the definition of wonton is B. It's Cantonese for swallowing clouds. Yay. Yeah. I remember something. We nearly do that out. Very good. So number seven, every state in um, New England have different types of, of chowder. Yeah. Uh, Rhode Island is it's not good. It's made um, totally <laughs> different, made with no milk or cream. It has a clear broth. Oh, we talked you out of it. Yeah, we should have went with that. Oh. It's not it's too bad. It's not too bad. I like it. It's disgusting. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we you made you know that one, Kevin. I got it. Well, they, have, they have all three in Rhode Island, red, white, and clear. Well, I'm confused. Well, so New, New England is a bunch of states. So what makes New England clam chowder then? Why is actually, clam chowder is white. 
Yeah, well, it's actually Massachusetts. In, in Maine, it's made with milk. In um, Massachusetts, it's made with cream. That's the difference. So typical American New England clam chowder is actually Bostonian. It's uh, the Massachusetts type. Okay. Okay. Rhode we Island is clear. We put chicken soup, chicken uh, for Rhode Island red. Yeah, that's a clear <laughs> recipe. Clever, but so number, number eight is discontinued Campbell soup, which was my favorite, was pepper pot. Yay! Yeah. Ooh. Yay, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's that another one. one. Did that sell it, Alan? I don't think so. Okay. That was that was also uh, Iron Man's favorite soup. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Really? Pepper pot? Never. And number nine? That was, that was the character that was played by, what's her name? When His girlfriend. Pepper pot. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, a chicken named Pepper. So number nine, uh, if you take the noodles in a single serving ramen packet and put them out, it comes to 170 feet deep. Yes. Holy Yay. Crap. Oh, so that's the yeah. world's largest soup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, long. The world's longest soup. Uh, it's longest soup. Uh, number 10, Ricky Martin was a member of Menudo. Yeah. Hey, he pulled that one out. That was great. And the bonus, the Andy Warhol um, picture was all the um, types of Campbell's soup types. And it was 32. 32. Yes. Oh, my Dead gosh. On. Good one, Carl. Oh, yeah, there's there's four. Wasn't there a commercial <laughs> 32 King. varieties? I think there, or is that uh, Baskin Robbins? That's Robbins. Baskin 31. Robbins. 51, right. 31. We're not going to be in first place anymore. Ice cream soup. <laughs> How many was it? 30 what? 32. It's four by eight. Four oh, by eight. So, you can say, so 30 to 34 is the right so answer. Put it, in the, put it in the thing. We, we oh, yeah. screwed up on that one. Okay, here's the. Well, Richard, was it worth waiting? Yeah. <laughs> He's going to run asleep. downstairs and get him. To... <sighs> All right. So, the we, team just got Paula. That was. Uh, we broke our streak. Yet. Six, we got eight. We broke oh. our streak. Oh, broke your streak. Oh, you're look in at first place. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. not for very long. Right. See you later, alligator. We have eight. Ah, ah, uh, uh, dark. Uh, we want to go with uh, Trump pays his lawyers with frequent flyer liar bias. <laughs> Yeah, we have five. Oh. That was your team, Jamie. Oh, no, what happened? Uh, Blue Alaska. <coughs> Nine. 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 Says the German. Dark Brandons of Washington. An embarrassing four. <gasps> oh, oh, oh you guys goodness. were tied. Oh. I know. You were tied. Uh, well, my thing is going <laughs> to mess up the whole thing. My, my oh, category is going to mess just, everybody up. Why don't you just give it to Carl? All right, I got the electrician coming, so Carl, I have to. Carl did oh, not get God. all of those answers. I heard you, Richard. Hi. Bye. Hi. Yeah, Carol. Hi. Hi. With your weird Australian uh, electrical outlets. So Carl yeah. didn't do them all, huh? I didn't. No. Yeah, no. It no, but I'm just saying, why don't you guys are, are they upside down down there? How does this work? Electricians. I don't know. That was that was really good though. That was the a very good job. In the opposite direction. It was yeah, very, yeah, opposite very, direction. Yeah. very yeah. different and good variety of questions. Yay, Jamie. I like well done. I like food. Well done, and Jamie. Now I'm, now I'm hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Now Robin's gonna go screw it all up, she says. I'm gonna screw it all up. I'm gonna I'm gonna upend the monopoly board here. Okay, good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because I want to okay. see some shaking up of these people. It's nine o'clock. Sorry about that. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. I am going to put something in the chat. What's nine o'clock? Uh -oh. Elizabeth II. What's nine o'clock? Here we go. Something. All right. Those, those should be 12 things here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What do they nine, have in ten. common? Okay. Uh, well, it's not that. It's, it's even more straightforward than that. It is. Put them these in are, alphabetical order. These are they're in alphabetical order. These are towns in the United States. <laughs> Your job mm -hmm. is to determine what state each of these towns is in. Oh, oh my gosh. And that in order to be... make it easier, I will give you the point if the if your guest shares a border with the actual wow. state. Wow, you better have a map. Oh. How are we going to keep track of that? <laughs> that was going to be you'll, my You'll quiz. have to police Damn. yourselves. What are you calling this category? Um, Chaos. Chaos. Yes, American I like it. Geography. Where is Waldo? Are you calling it? 
Geography. Hey, geography. Waldo. Geography. Geography. I'd. Wow. I think I know one. Oh, this good. Is, this will is, really screw what? everybody this up. This is going to screw it. everybody up. I love and, it. Uh, wow. so, that's, so somebody could actually I see come, from the, here. come from the bottom and move their way up to the top. And the it's top be, yes, exactly. exactly. So, all right, we're going to come up with. Ugh. All right, okay. Wow. Okay. Why is this saying join breakout room? Go. Oh. Arrow. Hmm? Here we go. Somebody I have, Janine's not joined. Janine, what group are you in? Two. Okay. Okay, I'm going to four. You're right, Wendy? It's, um, yeah, it's fine. It's just, I wondered why I'm going, to, oh, never mind. Well, yes, well, I'm out four miles outside of Okay. Oh, so you, we are, uh -huh, our team Illinois. gets at least one. Yeah. I think there are pawpaws in other states too, but, but they, it counts. Yeah. Well, what state are you in? Illinois. Illinois. Run oh. away, Robin. Yeah. We're not supposed to be here. Go. Uh, uh, I thought we were, were that we were supposed to get the the questions while we were in the main oh. room. Not. No. To... Never mind. Okay. Robin, you have your powers, right? Uh, no. Why don't you? Um, well, I'm not in charge of giving myself powers. Oh no, I of course not. So go go to the main room, and I will go there, and I will I will give them to you there because I can't give them to you. You have them. You see them. You're muted. Okay, go to your go go run around. I'm going to room four. Oh, back. So, ding dong. Seven scratching. What do we know? Papa. Lizard lick. Air, lizard lick Arizona. Yeah, something like that. A bit. Lulu, Papa, Scratch. Is it scratching? What are you seeing? Is there in the? Where are you seeing the questions? Here, I'll put them right. There is no questions. So I mean, the list, list of towns. Here's a list. I put it back in here. So oh, scratch, it's in the chat. Oh, okay. No, I'm seeing Waldo. Oh. I see. Okay. Ding dong, flipping, greasy corner, lizard lick, Lulu, paw paw. We'll, we'll, we'll finally have the answer. To, we'll finally have the answer to the question where's Waldo? Uh -huh. oh, oh, Vincent should have that one. That's awful. I made that up on the spot. Vincent's I'm, a, I'm impressed. Vincent's a fraud. <laughs> and I'm recording. <laughs> I don't know any of them. Well, Papa sounds like either Nevada or Arizona. I'm, it, I'm in Papa, Illinois. He lives I there. Live oh, in Papa. Really? That's the only one. I we live know. four miles outside of Papa. I think there are other Papas in other states, but Illinois is a mouthful. Okay, so I think toast would be Arizona, New Mexico. Yeah, New Mexico. Okay. If we put, if we put New Mexico down for all of them. We're, we're about to get, we're bound to get, well, well not, not Papa, but. Okay, really. so I think. What should I do? I put, I put Papa for Illinois for Papa and New Mexico for everything else. We'll get like a three or something. <laughs> well, I think Lizard Lick would be Arizona. Okay. For no reason other than it sounds right yeah come on wendy just help me out here i'm making it up yeah. as i go where's waldo come on where's waldo waldo i don't know any of these that's goofy <laughs> well no nobody does it's, it's like uh greasy corner where would greasy corner be boston uh massachusetts 
She says she'll give us a point if we're on the border, if it's shares a border. So pick a state that's got a lot of borders on it. What state has the most borders? <coughs> we'll use that as our default answer for anything. <coughs> I think they're mostly out west or the Midwest to the west. I don't know. The Flipping Alaska. How about Flipping Alaska? Um, goofy names with the eastern seaboard. But ding dong, <laughs> ding dong, Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> um flipping flipping alaska greasy corner lizard lick i would say california oh you think so yeah mm -hmm. lulu um you like california instead of arizona yeah and, and it just it, there lulu. There are a lot of lizards here. Um, Lulu, I don't know. Papa, you said is in Illinois. Okay. Scratch, Scratch last ankle. Time I, last time I checked, yeah. Scratch ankle. Someplace with fleas. Scratch ankle, Arkansas. Scratch ankle. Arkansas, yeah. Mississippi. Ding dong, greasy cow. Sweet lips. Toasters. No. Toast in was Mexico. Waldo is in Wisconsin. <coughs> Waldo, <coughs> Montana. Is it? It's not related Waterproof to Ralph Waldo. Texas. Texas. Texas is a good answer. Waterproof Texas. Uh huh. That sounds good. He Hee Haw Junction. Yeehaw. That's got to be. Tennessee or uh, Kentucky or Virginia. Yeah, Oklahoma's got Oklahoma's Yeehaw, <laughs> Yeehaw <laughs> Junction, Oklahoma. Sure. This is going to be impossible. Just put New Mexico for everything. Oh my God, these are going to be impossible. <laughs> so I guess I guess what I'm going to do is put each one on its own little thing. So I'm going to put ding dong. On the spreadsheet. I numbered them one to 12. So she got two bonuses. So you get. Oh, we have 12 here? Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's 12. Oh dear. Ding dong, flipping. I'm just happy to know that we're in the same boat everybody else is in. At least we know Pop Pop. We know we have one. And if anybody had been paying attention, they would know too. Well, because we had exotic fruit. We've talked about it. At least I we remember were, it. Pawpaws were in the. I would have remembered pawpaws. this if I was in another room. What did we decide about scratch ankle? Oh, we didn't say sweet lips. I don't know what we put. Okay, hold on a second. I'm putting him. I would say Sweet Lips, New Jersey. Oh, oh, that sounds good. What was the one you liked for toast? Here, uh, New Mexico. Okay. Um, Waldo. You don't think it's really. It's named after Ralph Waldo Emerson or something like that. Where is he from? Oh, good it's thinking. Okay. Where's Massachusetts? He Eastern Seaboard. Is it Massachusetts? Yeah, or any of the any of the states around it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna put okay, so let's go down the list. What do we put for ding dong? Massachusetts is what do we put for ding dong? That's the first one. Ding dong what? Did we put anything for ding dong? I don't think we did. Okay, so how about flipping? Flipping, I think we said Texas. Okay, so greasy corner. Oh, okay, let's just do New York. 
or New Jersey? New Jersey again. Yeah, you New can... Jersey. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and Lizard Lick, we said California. 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 Okay, Lulu. Did we come up with a Lulu? Hawaii. I... Okay. No, I'm just kidding. I doubt it's Hawaii. Hawaii's well, got all these traditional names. I don't know. Why not? Well, because Hawaii's like native names. And Lulu is not a native name. That would be okay. like... You are, like what would you prefer? Lulu, Kentucky. Lulu. Okay. Okay, Kentucky. All right. Oh, brother. Um, And the Papa's, Papa's in Illinois. Illinois. And Scratch yeah. Angle. Someplace with fleas. Oh, okay. Did we say oh, Mississippi? Okay. Oh, Mississippi, yeah. And Sweet Lips. Mississippi's MS. Sweet Lips. Right? Did you say uh, New Jersey? New Jersey. Yeah. Oh, that's also for Greasy Car. Maybe we should change one of them. The corner. Okay, and, and yeah, we you can can toast you it can in New Mexico. Up, you get the states around them. And waterproof. Waterproof, we said for Texas. Waldo, yeah. we said Massachusetts, right? And Yeehaw mm. Junction was what? Wendy? Let me look. Ye Are you ready to have the rooms closed yet? You can go ahead and go back. And if it's up to you, if you think everybody's. If you ready. if you think you're ready. We're yeah we're within a minute yeah. Okay. We're finishing up. Yeah, if you give us another two. Oh, oh yeah. but you, you closed them from here, so you can't leave now. You can't leave. Oh, I can't. Because if you leave, then the, the, the we don't even get the, the one minute. Wendy, what do you say? What did we say for Hee Haw? Hee Haw yeah. Junction? I can't remember. Um, someplace with country music. Uh, we said it was... Um, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, there you go. And then what do we... We okay. still didn't come up with the first one. Ding Dong... Texas, ding dong. ding dong. Oh, where was the Wizard of Oz? Kansas. 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 Okay. okay. All right. We're just guessing. Rod, you, know. you are in so much. That's the idea. That's the idea to make but you guess. Should knock the points down. I'm serious. I like it better when we get these teams that just. We got to even stuff up. We got to even it up, baby. Yeah, heat it up, baby. Ding Okay. Was everybody ready to come back? Does anybody need another minute? Nobody needs any more time. To, to, what? What? to do what? <laughs> this is hilarious. Please, God. So I hope it was amusing. Let's anyway. Do us from this category. Leonard. What was funny is, is I want to hear other people's guesses and what their logic was. You know what? You know what is that we yeah. tried there, to reason it no out. Logic. I think that's what was funny is people were trying to go. Like, well, where would this be from? Yeah. Yeah, who well, has, I think Ding has, Dong, the witch is dead, Kansas. That's, that's my logic. <laughs> that's a very good, it's you know wrong, what? but it's okay. Oh, that's the same logic we used. Right, it's completely it? wrong. What's the answer? Is, uh, we're we're to find Richard, we Richard has to go. Hurry up. Okay, yeah, I'm putting, I'm putting, there. Richard's already gone. No, tell us, Robin, tell us one at a time. Do you have a map oh. to share? Oh, I'm just going to put them in the chat. I'm not, I'm not well, going to hear. People who are watching, the millions of people who are watching. Oh, you want to? Okay, you want me they to read it out? Let me hang on. Millions of you is around the world. We want to boo it. All right. <laughs> Ding dong is in Texas. Oh, we should just put Texas for everything. Not even freaking close. Flippin' is in Georgia. <laughs> Flippin' New Jersey. Damn it. <laughs> it. It should be in New Jersey. Should be. Uh, <laughs> Greasy right, Corner is in right Arkansas. Point. If we get the right one, it should be what Yes. Wow. How do we get that right? Wait, wait. But adjacent states are okay. Adjacent yeah. states are okay. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do a uh, screen sharing if I could, and I'm going to put a, a map of the United States up Thank there. You. Do you have all those uh, adjacent answers handy already? You can look at the map, though. That, that would be crazy. No, we uh, have to do that. Share screen. Well, and I think Robin, that means we got number three, general uh, team. Yes, we did. There we are. Okay, okay. So number one was oh, Texas. Kansas just misses Texas. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Oh, oh. it does. Greasy Corner, Arkansas. Oklahoma. 
Lizard Lick, North Carolina. Oh, wait, wait, go slow. Wait, crap. Blue, Florida. That was nowhere close. We say cat. Now, Paw Paw, I discovered. Wait, 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 actually... I'm sorry. Wait, wait. Four was North Carolina. Number four is North Carolina. Okay, what was five? Like... Florida. Where in Florida? Lulu, Ellen, Florida. Illinois borders Florida, right? Oh, Lulu, Louisiana. <laughs> oh, just missed it. <laughs> and um, so, Paw Paw, there's actually. You're, you're probably all going to get this one right because there's a pawpaw in West Virginia, Oklahoma, Missouri, Michigan, Kentucky, and Illinois. Uh huh. And Bob and Bob lives in pawpaw, oh Illinois. Say, say, oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. It's one, yeah, two, so. three, four. So we I just that one. I just noticed so uh, Ben. I'm looking at your list and there's a problem because the first one is number three. So this is really screwing me up. Just saying. <laughs> oh, did I put it in the chat? No, no. Because Ben didn't... uses this document where it's line three, even though it's not number three. So oh. well, having... they're they're not numbered. What you put in the chat isn't numbered. So yeah, you're going to have to go with the name and the state. So what yeah. was number? What was number six? There number is no six. Number six. Michigan. That was Papa. And others. Papa, yeah, and then what, Scratch Angle. Scratch Angle is in, in Alabama. Sweet oh, lips. wait, wait, we get that, you guys, because Alabama's next to Mississippi. All right. Sweet Lips is in Tennessee. Oh, oh cool, we got that because we picked we got that one. Yeah. Here in New Jersey. Uh, there's nothing oh. from New Jersey. I'm sorry. No. Uh, Toast is from North Carolina. What is, is North Carolina? anywhere near new mexico <laughs> <laughs> not uh, uh yes, waldo I, is in florida uh, yeah I, we thought it was in texas i we really it thought it was in texas, texas. Oh, we said I'm massachusetts so uh, waldo emerson guy waterproof is in louisiana oh oh wait we oh, get nice. that one to you guys because that's that's next to texas oh good okay and, and they're um, really not waterproof after that big thing there. No, they are not. Yeehaw Junction is in Florida. What? <sighs> so I'm going to put all this in the chat. So if you get the adjacent states, it helps a little bit. Yeah, I figured adjacent states is going to Does help anybody you. on our team have track of this? Because I totally lost it. <laughs> yeah, we got Greasy Corner. Wendy, what did we put for um, flipping? We got scratch ankle. Okay, so it's, uh, we put Texas. And waterproof so far. I'm double checking Texas? the rest. Yeah. Oh, damn. It's not that close to Georgia. <laughs> Kansas is so close to Texas, but it's so far away. I'm wondering if Mike got anything. Did we get anything? I don't we'll know. We'll find out. Uh, I can't I got get to the chat. We got everybody ready? No. We can't wait longer. The, the dancers are not I'm in chat. Got our score down. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna have to stop screen sharing to put something in the chat. Are you gonna put the answers in the chat? I need a couple. Yes, I have to stop screen sharing. I can't do. I can't put the answers in the chat and screen share at the same time. Yeah. While she's doing that, I would like to take a, a moment to say thank you for mentioning CAD file. I enjoyed that immensely. Oh, cool. I am. I'm going to miss it when I'm done binge watching it. What well, is it called? I've watched the, the series. I've they watched Cat Files books, several times now. But they're based on, and they really are true to the books. Yeah. Cat mm -hmm. File? So oh, I've read them, them too. They were like Spell a. Spell that uh, word. What, what file? Jared Je Jacoby. Cat Jacobi. File is the name oh, yeah. of a, a fictional yeah, monk yeah. who solves mysteries. Yeah, I remember and that. During Can you spell the that? Because it keeps hearing Cat File. Yeah. That's a L. Is that a British show? It was yeah. not a British, like it a, was a it was a PBS, I think, that did the the it on Amazon Prime. Of the original. So it was from the, the UK. They did about four of the twenty books. There are twenty cat file books. Are you good now, Robin? Derek Jacoby. They only have six of the answers here. Yeah, Derek Jacoby. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm trying. He's doing series. He showed up in Sandman. Okay. You can only put so much in a in the chat. Yeah. It, it limits It'll only you. Take so much. So what comes after that? You recommend, Gail? Somebody said. Oh. Well, there there are there, there are twenty books. If you want to read the books. Yeah. Has Let's anybody go. taken me up on watching Severance? I, watched I the tried. Story. I watched the first episode, and what then it wouldn't let me watch anymore. Why? 
I don't know. I tried and tried, and it just kept telling me not available. I had to. to Did I you got get a, the free uh, week? I got a free one episode. Oh, you got to get the free. <laughs> That's why I, you could only I tried watch to one. Get the free, <laughs> I tried to even get the, the, the month thing for that, and I tried to do it, and there was no way. It took me in an infinite circle. So I said, Lynn, can you figure this out? And she couldn't either. And it went in an infinite circle. It would go to this screen. To this oh, my screen, God. How could you movie. watch one episode and not? Oh, my God. It's so good. Well, how do you think? Why do you think I spent so much time trying to go? To <laughs> it's that good, right? Yeah, it was good. And I can't get to the number two. Okay. And I can't even buy it. I mean, I said, okay, no, I'll buy it, buy it cancel it, right? And I couldn't even well, buy it. It's only $5 a month. So for $5, I can't, a it isn't anything when it won't let you buy it. And it won't let me buy it. Apple TV? I cannot make it oh, buy Apple. Apple. Right. Okay, go Can to Apple I'll come over and help you. Excuse I'm not surprised. Me. May we get the map back now? Okay, let's do this. Share screen. Oh, let me find my map. Can you give me ice water. So who else said they watched uh, Severance? Was that you? I saw that when it first came on. I'm waiting for the second yeah. season. Oh, okay. Cindy's, yeah, that's right. Cindy had watched it. Yeah, it oh, is, it's you say? very absorbing. Oh, it's I'm waiting for the second season of Kevin Go Fuck Himself. <laughs> oh, I didn't like that show. <laughs> when did, it was why did you watch TV? Susan? Huh? Hey, they're all why out did there. You watching TV? Yes. What? When did you start watching TV? I know people keep saying that. I've, I've no, no, I've known no, watching. no. She, you've she always... did good on Gilligan's Island and Brady Bunch trivia. The Prisoner, I... baby, the Prisoner. <laughs> I've watched TV. I watched a season Brady of Brady Bunch, of, uh, Island, Ted Lasso, and, and said the sucks. That's right. Yeah, I remember that conversation. I felt like I'm watching. I have COVID. I'm supposed to watch something. So I, so <laughs> I watched... call Saul. Better no, okay. Violent. Do you have oh, Disney yeah. Plus? Are you watching the She Hulk? No, I have yeah. Disney Plus, but I've not watched it. I just, I just watched episode three uh, yep. during dinner. It was really, it's fun. You, I like it. I, of course, I've watched TV. Why would you think I wouldn't know any TV? I mean, because you were always because you always say you have never watched TV. Reading a book. Well, I haven't you even watched any of the books. Were you lying? No, I just. Were you lying then, or are you lying now? <laughs> I'm telling you, you guys. Susan, Susan, just because take you the should know, Mark sent fifth. us your phone records. Take the fifth. <laughs> take the fifth. I think take we fifth. got a four, Rob. No, I'll have to believe. No, you we got five. What we else? We got five. Okay, we got Greasy Corners, correct, yep. Arkansas. I got that. Okay, we got Papa, Nebraska, because Nebraska touches Missouri. We got Georgia, uh, uh, scratch ankle, Alabama touches Georgia. Well, wait, was scratch? Was, is there also a pawpaw in Missouri? Is what? Yeah. Okay. Who's, 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 who's sharing the screen? Who's sharing the screen? Robin. Robin. Could so you half, of the, half of the country is gone. So I don't Can understand. you click on that? But I think, I think all the, most of the, um, the, the relevant these things are concentrated are in, in the Bible Belt here. These crazy towns. Close. Okay. Uh, uh, ben, we true. got scratch ankle, which was Alabama. Yep, I got that one. Georgia, sweet lips. Uh, Missouri touches Tennessee. Yep, I got. Okay. That one. Uh, we got waterproof because we got that right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. okay so let's yep. go to scores because you guys. Right, Unless Kentucky touches Florida. No, I'm pretty yeah. sure it, it doesn't. doesn't. I know it does. <laughs> it would be nice if it did, but it doesn't. For who? Okay, so we're gonna go to scores. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm not saying aliens planted those classified documents, but five. Wow, okay. I, I concur with Janine. Trump plays as lawyers with frequent liar miles. Oh, I think we got two. Uh oh. Okay. Wah, wah. No. Oh yeah, I'm on this team. Okay. Um, was on that team. So see you later, alligator. Three. 
and Dark Brandons of Washington. Three. Three. That's what I came up with. Ow. And Blue Alaska. Ten. So we got no. three. I'll just like to note, if you'd have just answered Tennessee for every single one, you would have gotten five. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Like, like that. That. Wait, wait. That was, that was wait, almost our on, strategy. Hold on a minute. I actually Carl. thought of that strategy. Hold on a minute. Tennessee. Please. Yeah. Carl? So we got number three, Greasy. Uh, greasy. Yeah. We got number six, Papa. Yeah. We got seven, Sweet Lips. No? Uh, uh, sweet Lips. He just wanted to call you Sweet Lips. <laughs> we got Sweet Lips, yeah. And then water, <laughs> and we got Waterproof because we said Florida and it's in Louisiana. Which does not touch Louisiana Florida. Louisiana doesn't touch Florida. Not Thank you very close. much. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so have I got the correct scores? Yes. The hot Louisiana lips was in Vietnam. Or no, South Korea. Yeah, hot lips was in, um, yeah. Korea. Uh, at least so, we're so no longer in last came, place. And, and we got the high score in a round. That's amazing. I know. I like think it's hilarious. Hey, hey, uh, we're, we're, tracking, uh, we're tracking well this, this round, Rob. Yeah. We're moving on up. Good it's job, pretty, team. That was a pretty hilarious. good race. A good I, race. I thought that was hilarious. Okay, Kevin. <laughs> that was a you? crazy category. <laughs> All right. That has endless possibilities. Yes. That category. That was really that, funny. That was fun. Okay. 3.2 was the average score. <laughs> and that's only it's because time uh, to play. the alien Name. that Did anybody dog. Oh. <laughs> oh, I knew you were gonna do it. I knew this was coming. Final rules. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. Like, name that dog. I'm I going to bed. Know. I don't have time. <laughs> no, I love it. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Name ten. Totally appropriate. Hold on, I can take a screenshot. Everybody, take a screenshot. There you go. Screen. I numbered them this time. Where is it? I'm yes. Lost. Thank you. Thank you. Wait. Wait. Oh wait, my God! Wait, there's so wait. many. We must always number. All right, I'm and taking. I'm I taking a pick screenshot. Ten and name them, and you I, get them I'm correct. getting it too, Rob. Now I was thinking of a variation. What if we? What if we just name ten and you get one point for every one you get right? No, because that's too easy. Everybody will get ten, right? Right. Everybody, Everybody have ten. Yeah. Now what if we do? You name all forty-two. No, you one no, point we don't if have you five get hours. One that nobody else gets right. We don't have five that's hours. So what? So rules. what are the mono? mono we're doing mono rules, and, just yeah, like mono we do with name, the cat. Name ten. If nobody else gets the one, you get a point. I okay. like that. I'll moderate it when we get done. Okay. Or uh, should we do name twelve or fourteen or something? Just no. name ten. Whoever just has 10. the longest alphabetical streak. <laughs> nice. Oh, <laughs> uh, I that wouldn't work for me. I can just sort of recognize them. Okay, send us our rooms. Uh. <laughs> Did everybody get a screenshot? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Remembering yeah. them all. I did I did not bother getting a screenshot. So. I do. I have one. I you have so. a photographic memory. I didn't realize that. Oh jeez. If I had a photographic memory, I wouldn't be poor right now. Okay, so who's keeping track? Where's Gail? I can see her screen is sort of. She out. had a power outage from the looks of it. I thought Gail was the one that was keeping track. That's why I didn't take a screenshot. Yeah. Oh, uh, is it going to be you? Sure, I have it. I can uh, pull this up. Oh. Let me maximize it. There we Linda go. Linda wants to know what time you need the car. Yeah. <laughs> Watch what's on your screen. You never know. Number one is Droopy. Number two is um, uh, no idea. Three. Three. Don't know. Four is Underdog. 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 And then five is Tramp. Oh Tramp. yeah, yeah. Six. I don't know. Yeah. Seven. Seven. Scooby Doo. Scooby. Scooby. Eight, eight is either Ren or Stimpy. I don't know which is which. Stimpy. Uh, nine. I can't. I can't remember. Oh, oh, that's new. My niece likes that. 
10. I Noom? Can... New. It's it's recent. Oh, is it? Oh, oh, I thought his name was New. And you. <laughs> 10 is. I love 10. He was so great. He was in the Bugs Bunny cartoons. In the, um... I just know it is Sheepdog. That's. Yeah, right. I can't remember, remember his name. name. He, he was great. There is a name to him, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, wasn't it something like he'd come by and he'd say, Morning, Fred, or whatever, and he'd clock in? Yeah. Some yeah. common name like Fred or yeah. Bart or Bert or something. Anyway, Sam, is it 11? I think, I think it's Sam. 11. Uh, I don't know. 12. Is, uh, oh, that's Pluto. Yeah, yeah. Pluto. 13, I kind of know. It's that Penny's is. dog from yes. Inspector Gadget. Yes. Um, 14, is that from Rugrats? Rugrats? I bet Rugrats? you're right. I don't know the dog's name, but I think yeah. it's Rugrats. 15 Goofy. is... Um, That's Goofy. Yeah. Goofy, yeah. 16. 16's from Toy Story. His name is... um. Stretch? No. There He's is. got a slinky in the middle. Oh, Gail wants to come in here. Let's let her in our room, please. I have the power, too, but... I, I I'll put her in here. Uh, okay. Seven. 17 Seven. is Lady. Lady. Lady 18 Snoopy. is Snoopy. Snoopy. Nobody's writing these down, or are we? We have to pick our 10. Okay, yeah. 19? 19. Can't remember. 20 is the Kung Fu. Hong Kong Fu, I think. Oh. Okay, 21? Snoopy. Odie. 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 Yeah, yeah. 22? Yeah. It's from Family That's, Guy. Uh, Brian. Brian. Okay, 23 is um uh, God he looks so familiar. Uh, oh uh oh that's from uh all dogs go to heaven. Oh I haven't uh, seen that. Okay, 24. Can't remember. No. 25? Oh look at who's here. Leonard's here. Let me put him in a room. Let's put him in the that'll be in three. So they, these are getting more obscure. Oh, what number are we on? 25. He was in. Um, Is his name like Dastardly, something like that? I think he's with somebody named Dasterly, but I don't know if that's his name. Da Dasterly Dog? D A G G Dog. 26 is either Wallace or Gromit. I don't know who's who. 27? That's something Nickelodeon, but I don't know what. 28 is Dogbert. Dogbert, yeah. 29? Uh uh. 29 well, is that from Lady and the Tramp? Probably. Oh, that was from... Um, or 101 Dalmatians? No, no, from Peter Pan. Oh. Do you know the dog's name? Yeah. Oh, I can't, re um, can't remember. Okay, 30 is obviously blue. There is Gail. There is Gail, yes. And 31 is... Uh, uh, it's Peabody. 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 Yeah. Mr. Peabody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 32 is... Santa's Little Helper. Is that the name? Yeah, yeah. From, from The Simpsons. Okay. Yeah. 33 then is Red... Clifford. Clifford, yeah. Clifford. 34 is Crypto. Crypto. 35 is from the, from the Jetsons. I'm... He's George Jetson, his boyfriend. Elroy, uh, I don't remember his name. I think that's all I got. Daughter Judy, I can't uh, remember the dog's name. 
It's part of the song. Astro. Astro. Yeah. Maybe that's the one we should come up with because maybe nobody will remember that. Yeah, the hardest ones. 36 yeah. is. I don't know. 37? Don't know that one either. 38 is the main Dalmatian. Pongo. 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 Oh, yeah. 39? Can you see these, Gail? Okay. You're on mute, Gail. No, I don't think or she no, does. but I can't hear you. Yeah. 40 is Sheriff. No idea. 41? It's um that's uh from uh, Warner Brothers, but I can't remember the dog's name. Bugs Bunny dog. 42? Can't remember. Okay, so what do you think is the most unlikely names that we're going to have? 35 yeah. is a good one. Astro? Yeah, Astro is pretty good. I could take a list down. Yeah. Okay, who else is really hard that we knew that probably nobody else would know? Uh, probably number one, Droopy. Yeah, Droopy is a good one. Droopy. And I, how about, what do you think of Sam for 10? Because it does seem like it's Sam. Gail, do you know number 10 from the Bugs Bunny cartoons up in the upper right-hand corner? Is that Sam? Because I, I think that'd be a good one if it's Sam. We can't hear you, Gail. She could she could put it in chat. I mean, we're on the yeah. line. She doesn't have to we'll fix it. Her audio. Um, Kit, that's thirteen. 13? His name is Kit. Let's put Kit. that down. K I T. -I -T? Yeah, oh, okay. Penny's dog was yeah. Kit. Well, I no way I knew that. Fourteen is a rug rat one. I can't think of. Um, okay, you don't know 10. All right, Gail, we can, yeah, just, just tell us what, oh, I'm sure everybody's going to know 32. That's a Simpsons one. Yeah, Santa's will help. How about 33? Um, what's his name? People don't know Clifford. There was just a Clifford movie. I think it bombed, but still. Didn't you know 34? That's crypto, yeah. How about 34? Is All right. 34, that is definitely. But it's got the Superman logo. Everybody knows Superman's dog. Oh, is that? No, who? I wouldn't know. I, I, I wouldn't know that. Okay. Um, How about 35? Mr. Peabody. Yeah, he's number 30. That's Astro. Right? We got him. Mr. Is Peabody 31 is 31. Peabody? Yeah, should we add him? I'll let you have put Mr. Peabody. Body. Got him. That gets us number. up to six. We got to pick four more. Oh, who number is the nine. six? Do we pick Sam for number 10? Is that who you have on your list? Because I don't have him on ours. Yeah, I have Sam on my list for I 10. I hope his name is Sam. The, kid, the slinky one from Toy Story, number 16, Gail. Do you know his name? I've seen all the Toy Stories so many times. I can't believe I don't know his name been so long is it something like stretch or no idea okay somebody else here do we say we knew 25 no something dastardly is like the comp the main guy and this is the companion how yeah. about number 23 which one's that? Um, that oh, one is the, um, what's his name? Uh, Charlie, I think. No idea. I've never seen Charlie. Before. Yeah, that's his name, Charlie. All right. Sure. Charlie, it is. Yeah, Charlie. That's twenty-three. Uh, that's all good that's, dogs. Uh, go to heaven. All do all dogs go to heaven. 
I, I keep getting the idea that maybe 16 is slink. Let's put it. You want to try? Because it might be wrong. Good to pick an obscure one. Take the risk. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Well, I think we picked number 23 as an obscure one because that's... <laughs> well, we might need a few. It's very yeah. old. Okay, did we know 39 or 40, 41 or 42? No, and I would put each of those if we knew them. I know that 41 is uh, Bugs Bunny as well as uh, number 10 is. but Gail, do you have any guess on 39, 40, 41, or 42? I think 39 37? is Simpsons. No. 39 is um, that uh, dog from uh, Futurama. Um, and I just saw it too. What was that dog's name? It was a take on um, since 39 is um, uh, oh, geez, and I just saw it too. Old Yeller, not old Yeller, no, no, no. It, it was, was a real dog, oh, not a cartoon from dog. Futurama. That dog is from Futurama. How about number 20? Didn't we come up with that? It was an odd one, wasn't it? I think it's called like Wong Kong Fui or something like that, but I, I don't know exactly. Unless one of you guys know, I don't know. It sounds right, but I'm not sure about that. 19? Hmm. No idea. Okay, so we got eight. We need two more. Should we pick yeah. something easy like Snoopy and Lady? Or should we pick two more obscure ones? We didn't know 29. You said it's from... Um, you know what? 29 reminds me not of uh, Peter Pan, but of um, uh, the one with the umbrella. The woman with the umbrella. The nanny. Oh, that was, the, that was both real and uh, cartoon. But, but no, it used to be cartoon only. Yeah, and it was called was um, Mary Poppins. Yeah, Mary wasn't it? Oh, 29 is Peter Pan. 29 is Peter Pan. Oh, it's from Peter Pan, she's saying. You remember yeah. the dog? You were saying that earlier, right, Vincent? That's that, what yeah, I, I said. It. Yeah, I said yeah. it was Peter Pan. Yeah. So confirmation. Could it yeah. be the name of the dog was like Nurse something or Oh man. It was um, some very obscure name. Can't remember. Okay, we need two more. Let's put Snoopy. I okay, think people Snoopy will skip Snoopy. 18. They'll say he's too too obvious. Exactly. We need yeah. one more. Let Gail pick something. Pick something, Gail. Something, whatever you want. You have to know what it is, though. Well, yeah, you got to know what it is. <laughs> She's typing. Tramp from number five. Five it is for Tramp. Okay, here's what I got. I've, I've been writing them down, too. Let's make sure that we got the same thing. Kyle, you've been writing them also? Yep. Okay, number 35 is Astro. Yep. Number one is Droopy. Mm -hmm. Number 13 is Kit. Number 34 is Crypto. Number 31 is Mr. Peabody. Number 10 is Sam. I'm pretty sure. Number 23 is Charlie. Number 16 is Slink. Hi, Kevin. Number 18 is Snoopy. And number five is Tramp. That's the list I got. Okay, Kevin, do you have this with everybody's names on it? Yes. Okay. So when we answers. go back, what we'll do is we'll put them all up with everybody's names on it. So everybody can double check that the that what they picked is the right yep. name. Yep. And then I'm going to go through one at a time and we'll do mono rules like we have to do. I don't know why yeah. the bitches about it. It really isn't that take Not that, that long. Bad. I, I, got, I got one that's funny. Somebody picked one. They're totally wrong. And they agreed on it. They all think it's right. And it's totally wrong. It's kind of funny. <laughs> well, we might have one too because there's yeah i know I, I don't want to say what it is because you guys might have the same one yeah we we guessed we guessed on a couple 
Kyle said, let's take a risk. So. You already got yours set in stone? Don't say we anything. We do. Don't okay. say anything. I, I want to ask yeah. you, who was number 31? Mr. Peabody. Oh, Mr. Peabody. They, they think it's Poindexter. <laughs> <laughs> and they put it down. And I was like, trying not to laugh. <laughs> they might talk themselves out of it now that you're out of the room. Oh, they can't hear what I'm saying now. <laughs> I've never heard of Poindexter. Where's he from? Poindexter is the little guy on the big pen, the big round head. No <laughs> idea. Oh, yeah. That's Mr. Poindexter or something, you know? Never heard of him. There's he's someone on the here that I'm just. He's the, he's the round guy. We know, we know. He's not a dog. So is everybody ready? It looks like a room one's back already. I think we should give them a two minute warning or whatever. No, it is. just give them a one minute warning. Let's go. Come How on. Can you give a two minute warning? No, just send him back. Just go back to the front and oh, he's done. There it is. There one it is. Minute. 59 seconds. It's good. This is fun. Um, yeah. I should have known. <laughs> Next week, parrots. Well, um, if I can do two weeks in a row, I wanted to do this. Oh, last you know what? Week, I don't have, I don't have. Um, I did cats two weeks ago. Yeah. So if I can do it next week, I have another one like this, but it's not it's not dogs or cats. It could be birds. Even turtles might work. Oh, that there's would be of... horrible. I, I think if I do any more, I looked at some more. There's a whole bunch of different things, not just cartoon characters, but there's a whole bunch of them. But some of them definitely don't want to be mono rules. They're really tough. Oh, yeah. I can see that. This has just got to be mono rules. Otherwise, yeah, dogs and cats, cats, definitely. We can easily do 20 of these. Well, close to 20, I think we can get a guess. On. One team got almost every single one. Yeah, I hate almost, them already. They, they, they're having a hard time picking out. I think. I can hear Gail now. I can hear you, Gail. I know. I don't know why <laughs> you couldn't hear me in the breakout room. That was weird. I, I did, and the computer said you could hear me, but obviously you couldn't. No, we couldn't hear you. Okay, so just as a FYI to everybody, next week, which is uh, September 8th, I have Rob. I would like to do the bonus round next week. I would be again? happy to do one again. I didn't do one this week. So. Okay, Gail? What, um, which animals are going to be next week? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Caspian, you got one? Ger yeah. Gerbils. Gerbils. Like Caspian? <laughs> Famous centipedes from fiction. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your category, Cass? <laughs> don't don't like Gale, I don't Rob. let Cass go. Please don't let Caspian go. Hi, Leonard. I don't know anything about Hi, Susan. Susan. I could do one in two weeks, Susan. Hey, Leonard. Okay. Deborah? Leonard's here. The 15th. Hey, so. Leonard. Got it. I will be out next weekend or oh, next okay. week. So not Ron, okay. So next week I got Gil and Rob that haven't done. Where, where else? I, I, I'll put Kevin you can do it for two weeks because that'll be two weeks. You can join in from Cincinnati. No, no. I'm not hearing anybody else. I see Mike raise his hand. Did Mike raise his hand? Up right now. Like okay, Mike's on, <laughs> Mike, Mike raised his hand okay, next week. Let's take a vote. Did Mike raise his hand? I think he did. He's definitely up in there. Mike air. raised his hand. That's what I hear. Okay, next. But, but that went down, so I don't know. <laughs> Deborah, did I hear you say something? Or two weeks, though. So. Oh, yeah, two weeks. The Deborah's on the, uh, the 15th. If I, I can't let you guys go to the final score, otherwise, I, I, I well, have I to. I think what you should do is what we used to do at work. If somebody was not in the meeting and we had to assign yeah, an action item, we assigned it, it to them. So like Richard Saunders, definitely. No, because we got to be sure they'll show up. I mean, I did a round tonight, but if you absolutely can't find anyone, I certainly do another okay, one. Okay, all right. Jane, are you ready? Uh, I, I guess I can do one. Yay, Jane. Right. Jane. Jane, all right. Who's not going to play next week? Avi. I'm not. <laughs> Who? Paula, I'm, an, I'm at the Hollywood Bowl next week. Okay, can you link up with Jane, get her contact information right now so you can look at her questions and make sure she's okay and make sure she'll be all right to do this, all right? Paula is going to do it, Jane. Don't make the FBI go through her boxes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're both on Facebook, so you should be able to, you should contact. Paula is Paul. Paul Linda on Facebook. But just 
exchange contact information right now. Okay, I need a bonus because Kevin just did it this week. I'm looking for another person. You want more of the same? I'll do it again next week, but I won't yeah. today. The animal or the mm, or I or could those. do the bonus next week. Kyle's got it. Thank <laughs> you, Kyle. <laughs> okay, so Gil, Rob, Mike, Jane, and Kyle. Got it. Okay. All right. And the following week, I have Suzanne and Terry are going to do one. And Deborah and Kevin's going to do the bonus, and I'll nag and find another two in a minute. Okay, so. You can put me on for two weeks from now. Woohoo! Okay, there you go. Okay, so here's how it's going to work. We're going to do this nice and neat. No arguing, you all. So Kevin's going to put up a screen of all the dogs with their names on it. So first thing I want you to do is no arguing. Just go in and make sure that the names are the names that you you picked. Yeah. I can't see the numbers, yeah. though. Yes. Yeah, what'd you, what'd you do with the numbers? The numbers were in the other yeah, The numbers are not there, man. Oh, come on. <laughs> so close. Okay. Well, Mr. Peabody is not Mr. Poindexter, whoever said that. What? Uh, and Clifford is too small. It doesn't, the scale is off, that's all. I, I know. She said no arguing. Uh, no arguing. I'm it looking. looks like Clifford the small red dog. But, <laughs> but who else could he be? He's a puppy. Yeah. Clifford has a puppy. Yeah. You're going to have to look at your screenshot, whatever you took, to figure out, make sure you have the right numbers. There was numbers a cartoon right on Facebook. Oh, we got that wrong. What did we get wrong? 13. Wait, I thought we were going to, aren't we doing mana rules? Don't we have to read them? We will after you check your work to make sure you got yeah, the right name. It's not Brian, it's Brain. People were saying Brian. <laughs> for, but, oh. Are you sure uh -oh. it's not Kit? These yeah. are the answers. Yeah. That's okay. right. What's not Kit? What's not Kit? Uh, Penny's dog from Inspector Gadget. Yeah. It's Brain. Yeah, you're right. Oh, it is brain. Somebody said oh. it. Somebody said it was Brian. Yeah, it's no, no brain. It's, it's brain. No, that's Brian Griffin. Oh, yeah. There's, yeah. Yep. Brian. Yep. So, yeah. so, so here's right. my question: If you had like, all right, we had Dynamut. We didn't write Dynamut Dog Wonder. Does that no? Dynamut's okay. Just Dynamut. Okay, good. Okay. Can we plead dyslexia if we put Brian? <laughs> and if we put crypto. You don't have to put. You don't I have like to it. put the super. The dog, super just dog. Crypto well, because okay. that's obvious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The hottest one for me was Doggy Daddy, the lower right corner. That yeah. guy, I, I, I knew he was so familiar, but I could not remember. Who I didn't know his name. Oh, See? Deputy Dog. See, I said it was. Is that Doggy, Doggy Daddy, Daddy or Oggy Daddy or Oggy Doggy? It's Doggy Daddy. That, that's Doggy Daddy. Oggy was the little one. Oh, Oggy wait, was the son. We got thirty-one wrong. Uh, we got thirty-one uh, wrong. Famous. Yeah, I know. Uh, oh, dumb dumb. Someone, someone thought that Stimpy was on this one. Stimpy's not. It's Courage. In the lower corner, next to Astro's courage, not Stimpy. I couldn't. I couldn't remember. The cat. I couldn't right. remember Stimpy's courage, the and that was the name of this damn show. It's called <laughs> Courage the Cowardly Dog. That was the name of the show. Courage, uh, what it was. Yeah. Yeah, I know I'd seen it, but I forgot. Yeah. Courage. Crypto. Oh. Yeah, no, oh. Kevin. Oh, cow. Yes. Are we real sure about Oggy Doggy versus Doggy Daddy? Because what I'm seeing on, you know, the little limited research I can do quickly, Oggy has the green thing on. Daddy has like nothing on. You mean he's naked? Kind of. Uh, he's, he's, he's got a he's got a uh, a collar. Which number is this? I thought Oggy was right. on Doggy one. Daddy. Stop was researching dad. on Pornhub. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm busted. You have to see them side by side. Don't Which go. what is the name of it? What number? No, the different. The difference is the the kid, Oggy Doggy, uh, wears a green vest. Yeah. And Doggy Daddy doesn't. And and Doggy, and Doggy Daddy, Daddy is taller. Oh, the last one. Okay. Doggy yeah. Daddy has a collar and it's blue. At least in yeah, what but I. But he's taller though. Yeah, but yeah, if but you how do we but, know but, that? But without him here, you can't tell. Just are, like you they, can't tell. They look Clifford. identical. I don't know that because yeah. I didn't write the. Yeah, answers. they're practically identical. Other yeah, than they're like basically they're identical. identical. Okay, so, so if daddy nobody daddy. else got it, then then I, I guess that would be okay. Well, that's one of our I guesses, did... and we put doggy daddy. Yeah, I would say either yeah. answer should. The work. lower right hand dog is number oh, 42, oh, the last one, forty-two, and he has a green sweater and a red like a necktie or like a that maybe that's his collar. 
Yeah. And, yeah. The, and in the in the picture that's on the monitor now is Doggy Daddy. Yeah. yeah. It, well, it's that, labeled that, Doggy Daddy. Yes. Right. The colors and don't match. But okay, why don't we wait to see if it is disqualified or not? Great, and, great then, idea. and then talk about it. <laughs> okay, yeah, so let's go back daddy, to the main. So. Okay. Has every team looked to make sure their answers are correct? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Go back. Uh, unscreen share. Unscreen share, is that? Okay. Ooh, screen share. Stop uh, sharing. Okay. Now here's how we're gonna do Perfect. this. One person from each team is going to give their 10 make sure you give the 10 that are correct like on our team the team i was on team five one of them was wrong so we only have nine answers so uh, but only actually the first team needs to give 10 probably then you know yes I know, whatever's I know, left i know so i'm gonna go and we're gonna start with the team that's in the lowest place which is trump pays his lawyers with frequent liar miles. So who's going to be a representative on team three? Best name though. <laughs> who's the representative? Is it Peggy? I have it written down. Okay, so Peggy's going to start. Now, when she gives off her list, I want one representative from the <laughs> other four teams. I can't believe I have to go through this every time with you guys one representative from the other four teams to say if you have it or not okay but i'll only say if you have it okay i'll do our and team don't say it all at once yeah, and nobody else talk team. got I'll it our team. okay carl's gonna take blue alaska uh who's got uh i'm not saying aliens rob okay and peggy's got trump uh pays his lawyers frequent who's got uh dark brandon Oh, I, I'll do it. I'll do Dark Brandon. Okay, and then who's got see you later, alligator? I do. Okay. All right. We have it now. We can do this. Don't make me mute you all, except for the people who are not. Okay. So, Penn, Alrighty. start off slowly. And, and, and are, are people going to read them in numeric order, by the way? Because that's why I have oh, them. Nobody cares. <laughs> Go ahead, Becky. <laughs> okay, number one, Droopy. We got them. Ruby doesn't count for us. Number 12, Pluto. Oh my gosh. Nobody wow. Ooh. Pluto's no longer a dog. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was allowed. Oh, that's brilliant. That that's was brilliant. Because Kyle is a representative. For number five. <laughs> 18 is Snoopy. Got him. Damn it. 21 is Odie. Nobody. Ooh. What? Twenty six is Gromit. Got that we got one. one. Twenty eight is Dogbert. We have that one. So no, no. I'm sorry. Thirty three is Clifford. Ooh. Nobody. The small red dog. Yeah. yeah. The puppy. Thirty eight Pongo. Ah. We have it. Somebody had it. Yep. Forty deputy dog. We have that one. Okay, now we get down to 42. We have Oggy Doggy. I'm pretty sure that picture is of Oggy Doggy. I and, we have, and we have Doggy Daddy. Yeah, we have Doggy Daddy. Yeah, Doggy Daddy. So it doesn't count. Yeah. So we're we're just counting them as one character. We don't care whether it's the right character. Not you have case. you have the right show. Well, wait a second. Do two other groups have Doggy Daddy? Yes. Okay. Anyone so they're wrong. So nobody gets 42. Unless, well, if, if it is actually Augie, then they would get it. But oh. but I think we've decided that it's it's the same, either the or. Same, either we're the same character. Either or. Too close. Uh, well, they looked a lot alike. Hey, whatever. They did look a lot alike, apart from the green sweater. We have three. Okay. So that is three for team. Trump places frequent flyer flyer <sighs> miles. Okay. I would move up to last place. Okay. No, you're tied. <laughs> no, you're above last place. Okay. Go, so go, go. I'm not saying it's aliens, but who's going to be representing that? That's, that's Rob, right? I got this. Okay. So number three, Bolt. I'm not hearing anybody. Point. Number, uh, let's see, number six, Snuffles. 
I'm not hearing anybody. Point number eight, uh, Ren. I'm not hearing anybody. Oof. He's like, everybody's on mute. Number, is everybody on mute? <laughs> number 10. We number had 10. it. We thought it was too obvious. Sam the sheepdog. Got oh. it. We got him. Oh. Damn it. Damn it. Number Sam 20. was my favorite dog. I love Me too. Number 20, Hong Kong Fui. We got it. Oh, we have it. <laughs> Number 24, Dino Mutt. Got it. Oh, we see you. Oh. Dino Mutt. <laughs> Number 34, Crypto. Got it. Damn it. <laughs> oh, good streak in the beginning. And now freaking on. One more. 39, Seymour. Yes, Ooh. another point. Get in there, Seymour. Very good, Paula. He's standing beside me. Okay, that's it. We got four. Okay. All good right. Good job, team. Good job. I, you guys, I love water rules. These make me laugh so much. I absolutely adore it. And <laughs> see you guys <laughs> arguing over Kung Fu, whatever his name is. <laughs> Hong Kong Fu. We thought we were so clever right. getting Hong Kong Fu. He's Japanese the number dog. one super guy. Deputy dog. Okay, see you later, alligator. Is going to be Kyle. All right. Five, tramp. Sixteen, slinky. Got it. What? Twenty-three, Charlie. Ooh. Thirty-one, Mister Peabody. We oh. have that. Thirty-five, Astro. We have that. We got that. Damn right. it. That's it. Two. Where where was twenty three from? All the dogs Charlie? go to heaven. Charlie B. Barkin. Uh, oh, I think good. I saw okay. That. So, Dark Brandons of Washington. Okay, we have only four that haven't been knocked out of the running. We have number twenty five, Mutley. Got it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Rick Rick of Russa Russa. We have uh, twenty nine, Nana. Got it. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, 32 Santa's little helper. We get a point. We get a point. Well, for sure. Paula's team would have picked that. Well, we figured someone else would, so we didn't, then therefore we didn't get it. Yeah, we that was our one uh nod to the mm -hmm. the the known obvious ones. And and then our last one is number 37, Doug. Ooh, what's that from? Up, up, up. Oh, I haven't seen oh, the, dog. the dog. Didn't remember the dog. Okay, so that's how many for dark red? The dog that had the collar that could squirrel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Robin? Yeah. So we have two. That's our score, two. Okay, this is really interesting. All right. So <laughs> All Alaska, works. this is going to be who's running it? Uh, Me. Okay. Uh, I forgot to double check that number 30 was indeed blue. Yeah, it is blue. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, blue. All right, we got a point. <laughs> <laughs> I really do love modern rules because it's so fun to see to, to work your ass off and get almost no points. Well, yeah, yeah, it's exactly. fun because it's like it's like it, it's anybody's yeah. game, you know what I mean? It just really can really screw you up. So we have an average of two point four. Okay, here we go. You guys ready to see the final score? Ready to see the score. We actually did really well. Yes. The last Very two rounds. Close. Wow, we wow. came up to second place. Very That's second awesome. Place. For second. awesome. For Good second. job, team. Oh, Good yeah. job. Very close. Very this close. This one right race. here just really plugged them in there. I mean, that, that group just got... Uh, yeah, we won the last two rounds. You've been last place for a long time. We effed up the first two rounds. Yeah. Right. Congratulations, Blood team place. number Blue yes, Alaska. Congrats. Blue Good job. Alaska. Karen, Ron, Mike, Carl, and Deborah. Good and, job. And but Blue, okay. Blue Alaska just took a nosedive on its point scores. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dark went on. Evidence too. What happened, guys? I, you know, we almost should make mono rules uh, negatives. Rounds, <laughs> well, with mono rules, it's tough. I mean, it's yeah. so easy to get a one because if you just happen to guess what other people a guess, zero. you know. You can see which team you're not I knew that was a point that he wasn't getting. Dates. I had, I had an idea for modified mono rules. Okay. Uh -oh. see what you think of this. Tell us. If one about. other team gets it, if only oh. two teams get the answer, each gets <laughs> one point. 
If nobody else gets it, you get two points for that answer. For oh, a maximum. no. Yeah. Isn't this that how they did the Alaska point. elections? I have a, I have a <laughs> <laughs> good job <laughs> idea. I will oh, make mono get, rules take even longer. Yeah, that's going to make it even more complex. Bob, I would like a good rule. I did, I did something like be, that. I did something like that where if two people got it, they each got the point. Mono and but if, yeah. but if so three teams each get buy it, a nobody, scratcher then you're, ticket. you're knocked out. Well, what we could do is if whoever team named the most of the dogs got three points. No, but we would have all gotten 10. No, but no, if you got 40, whoever got the most. I like, could see doing we, something like whoever, whoever got the 40 most out of gets it. That would be like a bonus, a bonus point for that round. Yeah. I think it'd be too hard to do 40. Yeah. Would you say, Ben? Well, that's why I was agreeing that like whoever gets the most, uh, we talked about that before. Like Kevin said, gets Gets like a bonus point, an extra point, just one extra point. point. Whoever named that would take us way too long. Well, we were doing that. You have to go through all forty. But we got almost. We we, we did thirty-five or so. We were trying to name them all. Yeah, we had most of them. More than thirty. We had a whole lot. We just went through and just. Yeah, we we had more than thirty. Here's a crazy idea. Here, here, get a point for each thing you know the answer to. <laughs> oh there come on! And then oh, divide by four. That'll never work. And then so, divide by four. How many so do we have 42. here? I didn't count. It, I mean, we, we yeah, we had under thirty. We had about 20, 28 or so. I would like to see a way of figuring out. So in the lot in the bonus round, we come up with negatives. Some people come. No, I don't like no. that. <laughs> because that way, and it has to be something obscure so that. Somebody who's we're, running. We're already skirting right. the definition of trivia with mono rules because then it's now becoming a psychological Strategy. warfare game, which is not <laughs> trivia. You either I know the answer or you don't. It's lucky trivia. Susan, you're looking for something like on Jeopardy where you bet at yeah. the end, on the bonus yeah. round, you bet. Final as- Jeopardy? Final Jeopardy. Oh, how, how accurate. How, how, how many of your points from the Wait, yeah. four rounds are you right. going to oh, how many points right. are you willing to risk right yes right. Final you journey. write that down before you catch the category. <laughs> this is getting dangerous so after the category before after you the get category the question is read, but yes. before any Correct. questions are read Correct. Get this how about you get really complicated and do all of the above how about you get a negative point every time you argue with the person against the answer <laughs> We could have a misconception. Only yeah. you could suggest that, point Karen. Then and we would argue about, did I really argue? No, you <laughs> argued, so you lose a point. Yeah, if, if we're going to start giving out negative points, people are definitely going to have to be turned into the money one source for their So I'm still saying we should do what I suggested three years ago, or however long ago this game started. The first <laughs> team back gets an extra point. That's all. I like that. <laughs> no. Speed the whole game up. There you go. I like it. Yeah, yeah, but who I would want that? Speed. <laughs> anyway, I, I like that. Some team would go, wouldn't care though. Night, it would just be long on Thank purpose. Just for to have Vincent. Yeah. Night, Thanks everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Night. 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 I had fun yeah. tonight. I got it out. Thank you, Wendy. I'm glad I you showed up. Team. That was fun. So, all right. So, we're better team number six. Wendy is a fantastic Wordle player. She's she's psychic. Oh, she didn't hear me. Yes, she is. She's still there. Wendy's a psychic. Wendy gets right. the most like. Well, she's a psychic wordle I've player. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to change September. it too much. But I would be up to the idea of betting. Uh, I like the idea of uh, maybe at the at the first round. Maybe on the first round, you bet your final. You figure out what your final score is going to be. You say, <laughs> I think. <laughs> without even knowing categories. Without knowing categories. No, no. The last and you could round. do. You could do your first cat. Okay, before the game starts, like when you're choosing your names, you have to pick it. You say our final score will yeah. be 39. And if you get it right, if that is your final score, you then you get point. an extra oh. something. But, I, I mean, they use like that, that. Like that in tiebreakers. It's like, like a powerball added on to ah, the. Ah, <laughs> I like that, Jane. Well, real Some... real trivia will use that all the time. Been to plenty well, of trivia where you, where you have to, to yeah, you they use that for a like tiebreaker. Bonus points, you can bet up to ten points. But we have to figure out some way to make that tie in with the Cobots conjecture, so that Susan <laughs> will enjoy it. <laughs> a psychic prediction, yeah. like she's saying. Yeah, yeah, a psychic prediction. You have to say predict your score before but the then. Start Susan will get it every time because she. She lives with the mentalist. And if you can predict another team's score, they lose a point. 
Give <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, everyone man. bingo cards with random numbers on it. If anybody can form a bingo row from the scores of any round, they get a point. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and you know what? I don't think it should be just a point. I want it to be something that changes the whole thing. Like we get all the way down to the end, and you thought you were in the lead and you won, and then you get somehow it's revealed at the end. Oh, you just got a negative five points. <laughs> All I know is we're customizing this game so much we might have to patent it and actually like turn it into a TV show. <laughs> I'm first, telling you, first, first place gets like, a TV. You guys, the discussion TV, about this. What we're doing we're right now here. is the sitcom version. But there you go. First place gets a trip to Hawaii. <laughs> Second place gets a set of steak knives, and third place gets fired. <laughs> I want, I you know want Trump steaks. Coffee is the movie. But there's no oh, sexual tension here or anything. So I have an idea. Work. I have an idea. We can bring Tyra Banks in to replace you as host and really sink the whole thing. <laughs> Does anybody get that reference? Wendy Williams. Does anybody yes. get that reference? Williams? Like Aisha Tyler. Yes. Who will Aisha Tyler, yeah. Wendy Williams? Wendy Williams. Which one's she? She oh, just God. got fired from her talk show because she's like got some kind of problems. She's, I don't know who she is. Who is she? From what wacky. talk show? The Wendy Williams the Wendy. show. Oh, how you doing? How you I doing? guess I don't watch TV. I you don't, don't watch TV. How you doing, Susan? Is that what she says? How do you know that, Karen? You're too busy to watch TV. If it's all the people who are busy. Her Wendy Williams is a vapid um, talk show host. Yes. Like like uh, Oprah is, Light. <laughs> isn't that redundant? Uh, yes, yeah, it is. Much. But but she's, she's more, vapid. more so. She's vapid new- even for a talk show host. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Jenny Jones. Jenny Jones. I could I could do like cliffhangers on next week's show. <laughs> Whoa, I just got wordle into holy shit. Oh wow. Go Rob. All, all oh, I know it's is time to go. Uh, oh my god. I'm gonna have to ban you, Rob. I'm gonna have to ban you to start doing Wordle games. on me. Wow. We're not doing Wordle here. Holy crap. This, this is, is a, a no, th- wordle. This no is a no wordle. wordle. Is this a wordle free zone? <laughs> yeah. Wordle free zone. I'm going to start taking points off your score. And time Holy. travel free zone. What team is Rob on? Let's okay, who, who hates dare. wordle? Who hates wordle here? Susan does. What's you the matter with wordle? What do you know? It's a cult. It's a cult. It's a good cult. Oh, no, it's a cult. <laughs> you can play Scrabble, Susan. Holy crap. I can't I, yeah, that. I can play Scrabble. Ah, do you play oh. Mastermind, the game Mastermind? I, yeah, I like Mastermind. If Mastermind and Scrabble had a baby, it would be called Wordle. <laughs> I know what Wordle <laughs> is. The thing is, is that they put it up and they talk like, well, we're we'll all do it. It's like, who cares? It's just we a care. stupid thing. And they put it up on their Facebook page with those well, I keep letters. Guessing I'm like, piano. I do it. I do it. My first Guilty. word is piano. Someday I'm going to be right, but not ah. yet. Piano. piano. My first choice is always Not piano. Today. I like to mix someday, up my first word. Cult. I'm telling someday, you. Someday, me and a whole bunch of other people on the Billy Joel fan page are all going to get piano. <laughs> <laughs> who, who agrees with me it's a cult? Jane, I know you do. So what's well, wrong with the I just don't care to see everybody's scores. I've never played it, but I, I yeah, it's like probably a Simple game. I would say so drink the Kool Aid. That's not a five letter word. It's college. like Hangman or something like that, <laughs> where they they got to come up with a five. Yeah, and they put the scores up. Then everybody's supposed to what? Yeah. Oh, then there's they, a whole oh, other you know game. How to cheat portal. There's a whole other game. Day, there is my <laughs> Susan. I can get one every day. You can look at it. Oh, I do Wordle where, where they have a they show. I do Wordle. I do Wordle yeah. every day. Wordle. Wordle. They have Wordle. one called. Wordle. But I I, I saw where you were going, Karen. Susan, you can play a whole nother game yeah. where you go backwards and try and figure out what they guess, what they're mm-hmm. exactly. I there are people who study combines... everybody else's wordle scores before they go do the wordle because they can what? deduce things from what the other people oh. uh... you know, you know what? You know what I, I like to... that. I just like to play like another little game Okay, afterwards. Here's the kind of game I like to play. To figure out your password. Here's what I play every week, every Friday. I play this game. And I never share it on Facebook, but here's this game I play. I read the New York Times and I do the New York Times quiz. And it's, it, it asks 10 or 12 questions 
and to see what, how well you did reading through the whole week. You know, it talks, oh. asks you multiple choice oh, questions. And, and it's really interesting. I don't do great. I, I'm always in the like average or a little above average. But I never share it on Facebook, but I find if that if you switch. go to Wordle and you click on the upper left hand corner, you can do spelling bee and all these other games and mini word puzzles and share them with everybody. You don't have to they share, they're so all there. And, but there's Wordle, some, everybody you don't have to share through this. It's just very important that you join in. I've shared you don't have the, to share it, you can just do it. That's the point is people have to bee. share it. Why do you, why does anybody care if you got it? They have people share a lot of stupid shit on Facebook. Everyone. There you go. That's why I'm saying it's a cult. <laughs> just say, I got it in three. I got it in four. You know, I know, but it doesn't it. make sense. It's just like, <laughs> just, 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 I play solitaire. I play solitaire when I'm watching movies or whatever. I'll play solitaire. You ever get a hole in one in golf? No, mm -hmm. I never play golf. Well, when people start something. posting their Wordle scores on your Facebook page, then it's a cult. <laughs> yeah, they're being banned. If they're on my okay, uh, everyone, I'm gonna, nobody, I'm gonna start tagging nobody Susan all the time. Post ban their Wordle score on Susan's page tomorrow. I we will, won't do it. I will. Nobody so, does it. I will. So does that help? Dude, does that help anybody figure it out? Really? I'm doing the. I'm so doing the like Dordle right does that now. Help I don't know. How I will change. Works. I will change the URL to get into Z. Piano was the good first word, Robin. Ruled. I did piano on on your advice. Ruled. I did piano. Ruled, ruled so like, the second if this were like the 1970s, and you worked a crossword puzzle, or you did a hangman or something, would you make a Xerox copy of it and mail it out? to all your friends so they can see you. Yeah, we'd have to mail it off fast. Just imagine, my imagine how much better the world would have been. If it was in, <laughs> if it was in like a uh, like a New York Times puzzle uh crossword puzzle or something like that. Or they have that. It's a lead. I'd be more impressed. I would you know you send it out or whatever you'd be like yeah or like but, a, but wouldn't it be good if Putin was obsessed with Wordle rather than taking over countries <laughs> next door. Yes. Every yeah, are you in favor of Russia invading Ukraine, Susan? You know what the thing is? You, the, tell, you know why you know it's a cult? Gone. You know why you know it's a cult? It's because they do it at midnight. <laughs> they, make us, they make us do it. <laughs> all, these people, all these people at a, hey, one I did it at 4 a.m. yesterday. I did Guess it at 4 Right now, Rob, you can you're, you're a rebel, your, Robin. Your you're a rebel. You should start your own sect. <laughs> Rob, you could change change your settings on your um, cell phone uh, uh -huh. and for Australia time, oh, and you could do tomorrow's Wordle. Ooh. Robin, my, then, my starting it, word is usually arise. That, arise, that's a good one. They crack when you, me when up. you do that, when you change you just, you just do that time zones Robin on your phone, Friday. it resets your Wordle when scores. When you're trying to cheat time. to be able to get ahead of everybody so you can go on to Facebook and no, say, you can cheat I got easily. Three. You can just do it on another phone. And you can get a one every time. Oh, yeah, you can, that's... you can cheat very easily. If you wanted to, oh, I could get a perfect score every day. I could just go on my wife's phone and get and the we answer. Know I you were cheating first. Or, or you I could just go... bribe somebody. Say how? What's the word? Yeah. Or you can go into a second like account on um on Google and hide it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, what do they call that when you? I'm glad we're you know, this. You can you know, when you don't go away on your browser. Incognito. Yeah, incognito. Go in incognito, and you can play it over and over again. Karen, are you there? <laughs> Karen, Ooh, are, you, I got my are you gonna go over to the um are you gonna be um oh. are you going to first uh Friday night or anybody going to Friday night tomorrow? Old town? Robin. Well, I'm going. <laughs> Nobody else is going. Good night, everybody. I have it's to go. Okay. I must go. Okay, and then I'm hoping to go to the fair on Friday Saturday. Okay. Hi. Are you Great done? You. I'll put this up on wherever. So, oh wait, Adios. wait, wait, Paula, I sent you I a private message to you. connect with you uh, to send you my email address. No pressure or anything, Paula, but if she screws it up, it's your fault. <laughs> I am having fun. Yeah, Rob will blame you if he doesn't like it. Rob well, like, I'm fun. Fun. <laughs> answer per question. That's my big right. Let me go to chat. Make sure she's got it. Well, don't, theme, don't say theme. name the two stars of or what are the two states next to know. one answer per question. I want to be like the New York Times paste, crossword okay. where uh, Star Wars or chat. Star Trek answers fit for. Yeah. Mm, if you need awesome. any help That's right. or something, James, have one correct answer. No. Let me know. I will Zoom with you and we can practice. Oh, crap. Things I went to.
And, and, and use multiple resources to check the answer you think is correct. I highly recommend multiple source check. Yep. Yep. We have to be extra nice. Well, I'm not going to do anything like a chemistry test or anything. Yeah, it doesn't matter. People <laughs> okay, have done, hey, what's what this? That? And it's like, so I saw this on the website and they're wrong. And then we have an argument. Susan, it stands for, for me to poop on. What? Nah. <laughs> I mean, it's 99. I'm sure Jane was just so thrilled to know that. <laughs> For me to poop on, that's the best. A triumph. Yes. I, I, I like you even more now, Paula. Well, thanks. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys are triumph, so triumph, the insult comic dog is the best. Oh, it's awesome. I still oh, I love I still you. love when he was at the Star Wait, I Wars. I thought they were getting uh, in trouble. When he was at the at the Star Wars uh, show and, he, you know, and he's uh, talking it's to somebody dressed Vader. as Darth Vader and he's all like, yeah. which one of these which buttons one? do I push to call your parents Mom. to come pick you up? <laughs> they had a lot of fun with it, and I like the guy dressed like Spock flipping everybody off. Oh yeah. What is this? <laughs> yes. Triumph of the dog. Triumph the insult comic dog. I know, but which one episode are you talking about? Well, he was a he he was a big on on Conan, uh, oh, Brian. on Conan's talk oh, show. Brian show. Oh, okay. yeah. I can't even spell the damn word because I don't play Wordle, so I don't know how to spell Triumph. Show. Well, and the guy who does Triumph is like a you know pretty famous comedian. Yes, I can't spell Triumph. Smigel, Robert Smigel. <laughs> yes, Robert Smigel. Thank you. I couldn't remember his name. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, this Robert. wasn't the one of the dog's pictures from tonight, was it? T R I. No, no, no. no. Should have been. It's it's a it's oh, a dog it. that it's a it's a dog puppet that smokes a cigar. Okay, and there's one that got busted <laughs> for Colbert. Voice. Mm -hmm. have, yeah. have you Rob? Have you seen the one where he goes to the Star Wars? Uh, no, Star I don't Wars? know. I don't know who this character is. Yeah, you need to look oh. it up. It's on Here YouTube. It it's, Here it's it is. Here it is. I'm putting it in the chat. My God, oh. poor Rob. He watches less TV than I do. <laughs> it is so fun. Is this the one that he does? Star oh yeah, Star you got to watch that. Whole... <laughs> it is hilarious hey this weekend yep. is uh dragon con skeptic track but i don't know they didn't put down the names of anybody who's doing anything it just has the title of <laughs> i'm like so who's who's doing what i haven't even played the video i just hovered over it and it started you know playing not even with sound and it was the lady the pregnant lady sitting down and i oh, just yeah. remembered what he said to her and i'm like oh my god <laughs> oh i see it too oh, all right so everybody man. go look at your Hilarious. triumph and yes. uh, we'll talk to you next week. Hopefully, if not, I, I will see you sooner. Okay. They will, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.